Welcome to Bakanga Land, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming out. Please go ahead and hit that like button. Tap your screen, tap your screen, tap your screen, and let us go straight to business. Let's go straight to business, ladies and gentlemen. Tap the screen. Let's get you 10,000 likes. I'm waiting. See, I don't ask you for anything. I only ask you to tap the screen. Tap the screen, tap the screen, tap the screen. There is no God, there never has been, and there never would be. Today, prove to me that your God exists, and I will believe. <laughs> oh, my day is going perfectly fine. Who's Q-Top? I don't know who Q-Top is. Ruta. Hit the like button. Hit the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Tap the screen. I'm waiting. I'm going to sit you until we get the 10,000 likes. Then I'm going to start my show. Shout out to you, Rashma. Makanga is the way. There is no other way. You don't even need a way. I hope everyone is having a good day so far, okay? And don't let these conversations get to you mentally. I would debate any pastor. I would debate any pastor. Yeah, it is a show. It is a show of truth. I'm here to show you what the truth and reality is. That there is in fact no God. There has never been a God. And there will never be a God. And we don't need to believe in God to explain the reality around us. The reality around us is a godless reality. And until you realize that, you will stop praying to invisible beings and expecting them to come and save you and deliver you. Tap the screen, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Satori. I hope you're doing all right. I hope you and the kids had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed your time. It is what it is, after all. Tap the screen, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get the 10,000 likes. If you're not tapping the screen, I don't know what you're doing. You might as well not be here. Bakanga. What's cooking, bro? Yeah, I just called to let you know you're doing a good job, my brother. Let's keep up the good work, man. <laughs> You just listening to you from me all the way in Jamaica. Job. Yeah, man, listening from all the way in Jamaica, man. Doing a Absolutely, good job, my Satori. brother. Say that again. Listening from all the way in Jamaica, man. Jamaica, man. I will be in Jamaica one day, and on that day, thunder yeah. will strike. There will be lightning and yeah. thunder. We have we have a lot of girls waiting for you, man. I know you like the girls, you know. So whenever oh, I tell no, you, come man. have a lot for you. The girls don't have to wait for me for me to like the girls. My my liking of the girls is not so they can they can wait for me. The, my liking of the girls is so they can find a strong brother and build a strong structure around them. Yeah, man. We need we need a few more guys. I like the like girls because the girls are our mothers and our sisters, and they're the ones thanks to them that we can multiply. If we didn't have women in this world, what's the point to life? Think about it. I think that we as yeah. men especially black men we've lost that vision for a long time everything we do is to protect our women because without them we have no life we have no legacies yeah. we have no one to leave anything behind the, the, the female can't live without the male the female can't live without the female you know bro if females could multiply without males i think they could live just fine without males but i doubt that yeah, males that's, can that's live without hip. females that is a hiff, but that it can't be possible. You have to have the two gender to make 
and that is why we are exclusively important to each other that's true like the yin and yang i wonder if it's a yin and yang i think it's more of a sun and the moon type of things one person reflects well, the, it's the same thing it's the same thing it's the same same concept the yin and yang moon and sun right and wrong left and right the same do, you, do you, you think know, do you do you think that do you think that the sun the light of the moon and the light of the sun are equal no 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 it's not that it's equal it's just that there are difference between both of them you see that's what one, i'm saying to play, you but one player must but, but but one one depends on the other right well i don't know about that but i know one player masculine part and another player feminine part you want to know what i honestly think yeah if the relationship between a man and a woman is like the relationship between the sun and the moon then we men we are the moon and women are the sun you see <laughs> the sun is much brighter and it rules over the day so the sun rules when everything is at peace when everything is visible the moon rules when there is darkness when there is uncertainty and when there is pain and when there is war you see we men we, tr we thrive in the chaos we thrive in the darkness. That is why we need our women to reflect light upon us so we can shine in those moments. When men go to war, they go to war because they are reflecting the love that they have for those women, right? For their daughters, their family, and everything. Which what? is funny because if you look at the Western religions, they flip it upside down. They tell you that the man is the sun and the woman is the moon, but it's the other way around, bro. It really is the other way around. And it doesn't mean that we're necessarily inferior it's a matter of perspective and it's a matter of reality. It really is a matter of reality. And I think that the ancient Africans knew that. That is why the symbol of the sun was the woman. We honored the woman and our societies thrived. We never built any weapons of mass destruction. Neither do we mass colonize or mass uh, 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 um, conquer each other. There was a balance, sort of, in our societies. Not just our societies. Well, you know, if it was... If it was women alone, you would never have war. You know that, right? Say that again. If it's up to women alone, you would never have like those commercial wars. You know, because no woman would want to send them son to war, man. No woman would want to send their husband to war. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I think that if it was women alone that were in charge, we would still have wars, but it would probably be more catastrophic. Women are also human beings after all. They have a sense of ego. Don't get me wrong. That's why the relationship between men and women is that of checks and balances. Now, like I said, the woman is the sun, but the sun doesn't shine at night. Somebody still has to rule over the night. And that's why the sun is not almighty. And the sun cannot rule over the night without the moon. So that is kind of how that, sim that is symbolic. I don't know if that makes sense to you. No, no, that, that's, that's, that, in, in that sense, of course. Yeah. I think that women fight with each other, but that also means that they work better with each other, too. Yeah, that's a fact, man. Thank you for your time, brother. I appreciate you, okay? Yeah, we have a lot of mangoes in Jamaica, no man. Whenever you're ready, let's come on and eat, eat some mangoes, man. <laughs> A lot of mangoes in Jamaica. Mangoes, yeah, yeah it's mango time, now. I don't know why the algorithm is playing I, with me. Maybe it's because I came up at an odd time today. It always does that. You, you say what? I said, I don't know why the algorithm is playing with me. Maybe it's because I came up at an odd time today. Oh. All right, my brother. Respect. For sure. Respect to you too, brother. One love. Respect, One love, brother. Man. Yes, sir. If anybody can prove to me that your God exists, I will believe in your God. I haven't done this in a long time, but I think that this is an impossible task. It is impossible to prove that God exists. And that in of itself is proof that God doesn't exist. The fact that nobody can prove that God exists is proof that God does not exist. You see what I'm saying? That's why the religious people run away from that. Religious people run away from that because at the end of the day, they will say faith. And faith is just the, the, the license of ignorance. Let me repeat myself. Faith 
is a license of ignorance. When a man is ignorant, he will hold on to faith because he doesn't know. He cannot know and he will never know. What we know is that we have the ability to think and we have the ability to solve problems. If you pick one problem in your life, even if it's just a small problem and you solve it, it will give you resources to solve the next big problem. And if you spend your time solving one little problem after another, in a long amount of time, like 10 years, you would have solved an unimaginable amount of problems. And that is what I'm encouraging you to do. I'm encouraging you to stop believing in God and stop solving problems. Believe that you can solve your problems, if anything, by thinking. And the most efficient way for a human being to think is scientifically. You analyze, you study the results, and you compare it to what is already real and established. <laughs> this music makes you want to donate? Nah, don't worry about donations. Ladies and gentlemen, we did a good job getting to 10K likes. Keep tapping the screen. I don't really want to fight with the algorithm today. I could easily just restart the life, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to fight with the algorithm. And I'm not going to fight by, with the algorithm by myself. Believing in God is useless in 2023 because everything you need God for can be accomplished with technology. Anything you need God for in 2023 can be accomplished with technology. And to those of you who don't believe, okay, like I said, this is a safe place for those who don't believe. Let me tell you why. Because at the end of the day, it is not those who believe that suffer persecution. It's those who don't believe. Don't mind what the Christians say and what the Muslims say. Those who are most persecuted in the world today are those who don't believe in God. Because religious people, unfortunately, possess a religious superiority complex. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them. It is the nature of that religion. You understand? A religious person will never approach you from the perspective that they can learn from you. Especially if they think that you are an unbeliever. They always approach you from the perspective that they have the absolute truth. But they don't even consider the fact that among their own religions, there is so much confusion. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a true, honest Christian, you can't be a Christian. You can't be a Christian and go to sleep at night wondering if your version of Christianity is the true one. What if Christianity was the truth but being a Baptist is wrong? What if Christianity was indeed the truth but being a Catholic was the wrong one? What if Christianity was the truth but being a Presbyterian is the wrong one. You see, my friends, even among your own religion, you can't even tell if yours is the true version of it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We are beating the algorithm. Continue to tap the screen. My challenge today is prove that your God exists, and I'm still waiting. I know that religious people like to run away from me. But to any religious person that has courage, come forth and try to prove that your God exists. <laughs> the fact that nobody comes up is satisfying enough to me because I don't expect anyone to be able to prove that God exists anyways. But it's always humorous to get the ones who think they can't. Which religion doesn't matter. It's the same energy. We have to be enlightened. If religion is the same energy, then religion is the energy of ignorance. Social medias are real. And if you don't like it, you can cry about it. Everything that we have created with technology is real. You don't have to doubt that. You don't have to doubt that. Shout out to you, Erica. What's up?
bus, bus, bus. What's going on, man? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Uh, like, I always love, I always love what you're doing. You get more people are working, you know. A lot of people are not feeling yourself these days. Many things hurting me, hurting me. I can't explain. Many people are trying to say. When I try to say my mind to them, they will think I'm different. So I'm dangerous. Don't you know the word letter D means we are different, so we are bad. So they added D to evil, so that they will call it the devil. Think about it, man. Be careful. I'm trying to teach my brothers and teach my folks, but they think that I'm backsliding because I don't believe. Tell me why would I believe when God killed young kids in Egypt? Well, his problem was with Moses, Moses and Pharaoh, right? Yes, but they don't know what things really happen. It's just a circle. We're going back in the reset all again. I don't know why he's looking at me. Want to lecture them? It's like I'm losing my brain. Going and saying this thing is deep. It's really hard for me to explain. I feel what you're doing, and I swear I give accolades to you. And I swear if I had money, I would dash you. But it's really hard, so I had to trash you. I cried, but I have to save my mind. I love what you do, and I swear I give support to the very end of the time. You're the best. I love it, but you're gonna have to do the rest. Some people are not even ready to wake up from their slumber and they keep sleeping, living this life. They don't life is a dream. Life is a dream. When you dream and you feel. Really don't you know that's a reality but they can't because they are blind even though their two eyes are open is hard i just try my best every day and night but it's really hot to me deep in my head i'm a shaman i've been set here to lead the lost souls on this earth so that they can find a better place so that they can really find an inner peace when you are broken just be happy that's when you find your inner peace they said that be sad and be sober then you can connect Without eating food, your body creates its energy to astral project. I've been lucid dreaming for long. I've experienced two past life and I'm not trying to clout. This is not what I do online, but I'm just have to say it because this thing touched me down. Make me feel like I'm going insane, but I have to do it any way I can, okay? They think that I'm down, but I know that I'll go up because I never want to give up. What you're doing is amazing and I give you rep. Yes, to the end. I'm a Nigerian. 11 11, a funny star. I'm an angel. Yes, it's true. I'm a shaman. I play the flute. I didn't even learn it, but I play any song in the world, closing my eyes and it's true. Because that's what I do. <laughs> and I'm really happy that you had to put this one up for me. I'm thankful you're grateful that you put up here. You made me say something, you made me say you're all legit and you're the best. And I mean it when I say this. I bro, I heard you, you, bro. And Bacana, some of the things you said one. I did not get. I wish you said it slower so that I could understand <laughs> you. But okay. I do not disregard your passion, my friend. Especially as a young black man in Nigeria, it's a very religious environment. So if you're not religious, like I said, religious people are the ones who are being persecuted in the world today. And that is the truth. So if that is how you cope you know with what? it, brother, you want to no, be a poet, a rapper, no, no, a spoken no, no, word, no, no, or if that was just no. if, if that was just a spur of the moment, bro. No, it was not. You, bro, it was brother. not like that. It was not like that. Say, okay, let me go slowly. People don't know that religion is the first way of division to segment human beings. God created man who created human beings. They said God created heaven and earth, but who created the nine planets? And our parents take us to school to learn those things. They don't know that teachers are cheaters. They are cheating us from our knowledge. We are on here to learn different things then when it's time for us to know right and wrong everybody will be awoken those who cannot stand it will fall off we are all superheroes i've mastered the five elements i can control water fire air and earth are you an aspiring rapper not, though are you do you aspire to I'm do some form of of music or art my name is maxwell the letter m stands for music the letter M stands for magic. Music is a message. I'm just here to pass my message on to people in this dimension. Before I, leave I hear you, my brother. I hear you, okay? And like I said, I don't want to disregard your talent. I love what you do, and I love how you did it. Especially right here in this moment for the brief amount of time. Just like you gave me <laughs> encouragement. Like, it means too much to I me. I encourage you it to means keep a lot doing to me. it. I say I've lived a past life. In my past life, I was a D-Day, Nomad Beach, 1946. And the B-13 dropped the bomb on our version. <laughs> I will come back on here, but 
Uh, so I have the spirit of a soldier. So giving up is not in my vocabulary. It's not my dictionary. I never give up. My then don't give up. Don't give up on trying to set the brothers and sisters free, right? But what I'm my encouragement to you is, package your message in a form that will make you seem more sincere. Because like I said, you either do it as music or you do it with sincerity, right? I like what you're doing right now. But you see the response of the people in the comment section. Some people think you're just joking. Some people think you're rapping. So people think I'm just joking. Or fi find a way. Oh, find oh. a way to find a way to package your message in a more productive way. Or if this is good enough I've for you, bro, that. just keep doing your thing, bro. You don't have to change your thing, okay? Thank you for oh, your time, bro. I really appreciate you. Thank you. This was just a freestyle. It was something off of my head. I just had to drop it out. I didn't even have to think about. I understand. It, you know? I understand, I said, bro. One hundred percent. I can 100%. prove to them that God doesn't exist because God came on the surface on this earth. He met the he met the sea. They say he met the sea. What is the sea? Water, right? The body contains seventy-five percent of water, and water takes the form of the container you pour it in. People think they are their body. <laughs> they don't know that our eyes is just projecting our thoughts and turns reality right in front of our eyes, like a projector. If you, this is your body, you can see the back of your body because it's yours, but it's not. So I'm, I just want to awake people in the more way you can. And I'll do it anyway. And I really appreciate your encouragement. It means a lot to me, for real. Thank you, my brother. But it means a lot to me. Thank you. You stay I'll safe, okay? I'll so other people can take the role. I will, man. You too. Of course, of course, bro. That's just your manner of speech. I understand it. Thank you, my Thanks. brother. You're welcome. There you go. I restarted the life. I don't know, the algorithm doesn't really like to work too well if you broke protocol. There is no God. There never has been. Burned you and you reflected to never do that again because you didn't want to hurt yourself. So you understand that it's immoral to your own well-being to put your hand on the stove. But let's say, for me, I was somebody who was tolerant to all types of pain. There are people in the world that were tolerant to all types of pain. And bullshit. I put my hand... Huh? I call bullshit. No, there's literally YouTube videos on YouTube and I smell bullshit. There's videos on YouTube where people don't feel pain. At all. I smell bullshit. So if I put my hand on the stove and I'm fully tolerant in all aspects of pain, and I did not feel my well being being hurt when I put my finger on the stove. So I continued to do it over and over and over again. Off that experimental knowledge, I would uh, like, you know, reflect that it's perfectly fine to put my hand on the stove when it's on. So I could grab my friend's hand and put it on and burn him under the false pretense that I that burning your hand um, or putting your hand on the stove. Because I, my own experimental knowledge was that because I'm not or I am pain tolerant, right, that it's not going to affect me. Then therefore I have to apply it to everybody else. This is my morality. My morality is that it's not immoral, but to another person who it burned, right, whom it burned, my bad, right? It's immoral. Or I mean, yeah. So like, where's the distinction here? Because they say it's immoral, and I say it's moral. So now, who's right and who's wrong? In nobody's right, sense? nobody's wrong, because morality is subjective. It's not objective. Yeah. So morality is subjective. That's that's, that's why. Listen, 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 bro. It's not immoral for a man to marry a, a, a man in America because it's legal, and the Americans have no problem with it. But in Saudi Arabia, it's illegal. Oh, that's wait, also, fine. also, before you continue, that's perfectly for fine. Also, before you continue, for the people in the comments that, you know, just keep slandering because you don't understand anything and who keep saying, I'm white, I'm not white, I'm Arab, I live in Saudi Arabia. Anyways, I mean, if you're Arab, you're kind of white. You have some white in you, you know. 
Um, I live in Saudi Arabia, but I was born in Africa. I'm pretty sure so. if you do your genetics, you're gonna find some Caucasian in you, bro. But I was born in Africa. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're still Caucasian. Stop, stop hating yourself. Being Caucasian is no. I, I don't hate myself. I love. Okay, myself. then you are Caucasian. I'm born in Egypt. Yeah, but you have Caucasian in you. Define Caucasian. Means you have the blood of someone that came from the Caucasus Mountains, and that's a beautiful thing because they are humans. Why, why are you trying so hard not to associate yourself with them, with what you are, I don't with want your to, genetics? Yeah, no, who, who said I want to be black? Well, you, you clearly don't want to be white. I'm not white, though. But you are white. You got white in you. Okay, that's fine. You got okay. white in you, too. So embrace every aspect of yourself. I don't like people you that got, hate themselves. If you, you are white, white, you should love being white. If you are black, you should love being black. Whatever you, you are, you got white in love yourself, it. too. I ain't got white in me. I'm not gonna lie, like African people are like amongst the most racist type of people. You can say whatever you want to say. You're African. Are but you I'm not? African, so I get to say what I want to. So you're racist? No. You just I'm, said African I'm, people are among the, some of the racist people. And no, then you said I see, yeah, but not all Africans. I'm amongst <laughs> the people. Who are... Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm, Come I'm on, the bro. exception. You're the exception? Yeah, I'm not racist. I smell bullshit. So, wait, what part of Africa are you from? Wherever your father is from. You know Africa is mostly Muslim now? How do you feel about that? No, Africa is not mostly Muslim. You're tripping. No, North Af most of North and Central Africa is, be is all Muslim. You, you, want, you want me to tell you a secret? You're going to say that we enslaved you guys. No. That's not what I'm going to say. Fight back. Why couldn't the Africans fight back against us? Listen, listen, listen. Oh, because we're much nicer, kinder people. No, we're much nicer, kinder people. No, no. You came and said we convert or die. You called our people Asia pagan. You went, you, you went to Somalia and destroyed their not their native religion. Africans are pantheists. We are we worship Pantheist. multiple deities or mu multiple things the at the same time, right? So your religion says that we are pagans. You understand? Your religion is anti-African. Oh yeah, yeah. Paganism is very immoral. Your religion is anti-African. African and now Africanism. Your is religion is anti-African. Wait, Your Africanism is literally isn't designed just to exterminate our people. Wait, no, not all Africans in, are, are like pagans. Your religion is anti-African, and unless an African converts to your religion, your people simply just exterminate. No, them. no, no, not all of Africans are pagan. It's not their culture. All Africans originally and predominantly were pagan. No, most of Africa. Prior to Christian Islam, most, most Africans were pagan. Most yeah, okay, or I will agree. Ninety-nine point nine 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 percent of Africans were pagans. Yeah, originally. Every man is allowed to have his own deity. That is how it goes in Africa. If your deity is a goat and my deity is a turtle, there is no problem. There's no need for one god or one supreme being. There's no need I for that. I think you're just getting mad because Africa is mostly Muslim and Christian now. Brother, you want me to tell you a secret? Sure. Right here, right now, there is a 100-year plan to completely eradicate Islam and Christianity of the continent of Africa. And we have had so much success already in the last 30 years. It's unimaginable. You, you and your organization? No. Me and no one. Listen very carefully. Sorry. Listen. No, no, no. Listen. Listen very carefully. Because I, I, I'm just telling you. You want to hear? Listen. Don't worry, bro. You can believe whatever you want to believe. But let me just tell you, there is a 100-year plan that has already been put into execution, just like the Chinese did, to completely eradicate that mentality of Islam and Christianity of the African continent. And we are having so much success. And we are also collecting evidence that those religions don't work for us, and that our own traditions is better for us. Are for you example, happy about that? For, oh, I'm extremely happy because I love being African and I don't like colonizers. And anyone that will impose their colonial will upon us, that, that person is not necessary because we Africans... I don't think we, that's we, ever going to Listen, work. listen, listen, bro. We Africans, we don't come to you Arabs and force you to be like us. We don't force you... Nobody to go into forces the, you we, we don't force you to go into the middle of the jungle and talk to the ancestors in the middle of the night. We don't do that. <laughs> Nobody forces you. Where do you get this idea that we forced you? Bro, have you never heard of Boko Haram? Don't you know that... Uh, do you, don't you know that ISIS, Al Qaeda, and all the radical Islam—that's what Islam used to be before the modern age of civilization. 
Mm-mm. The no, most, most Muslims today are actually compromised Muslims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Those two filthy groups that you just enlisted, may God curse every single person who associates themselves with those disgusting groups. Oh, no. Groups. Oh, no. Those are human beings, too. I care about their humanity. Why would I no, curse? No, no, who cares? Why, right? why are you sure. cursing your own Muslim brothers and sisters? You see the problem with your religion? No, no, no. Why are you cursing your own? What? Are you cursing your own Muslim brothers and sisters? No, no, they're not my brothers. They're not my brothers. Yes, they are, but they believe in Allah just like you. Oh, yeah, yeah, but but they're deviants. But they believe in Allah just like you. They're they deviants. believe in the Prophet Muhammad just like you. Why are you cursing no, wait, them wait, out, wait. bro? Bakanga, Bakanga, let me explain. Let me explain. So no, 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 that's yeah. bullshit, bro. Wait, no, it's not that's bullshit. bullshit. Because it, and it's okay. Listen, let me just hear me out for a while. Hey, calm down, calm down. Listen. So we understand that within Islam we have authentic hadith from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He said that amongst my ummah, which is the Muslim me, the Muslim people, they will split into seventy-two or seventy-three. Yes, yeah, seventy-two. Seventy-two sects. Amongst all the seventy-two sects, seventy-one of them will end up in the hellfire, and only one remains the safe sect and that sect will go to paradise and guess what those two filthy groups that went on and forced people and killed so many innocent people they even killed their own muslims or they killed they didn't just kill people that weren't muslims they killed muslims because their their, their understanding is like that of a fish right they have like the understanding of a fish they read the quran like for example I, i'll give you an example of those two groups how they interpret the quran they read the quran and they see that it says you cannot uh do never take a christian or a jew as an ally and they read that and they see a muslim be friends with a jew or a christian and they think that he's automatically not a muslim anymore and they kill him that's how dumb their understanding is so these people are deviants i, mean, I don't think it's any more dumb than the fact that you are calling them fish if you call them fish what should they do they should embrace you they should give you a fat hog you're doing the same no, thing they no, are no, doing. They are, you are they, literally them from another perspective. Their their IQ is that of a fish. They're all they're amongst the seven the two groups that you listed that are forcing your people. They're amongst the seventy two groups that are gonna go to hellfire. All, bro, I don't distinguish that from an outside perspective. They're just Muslims to me. Yeah, that's bad. It seems to me dumb. like your problem. You you're you're supposed to have way. the religion of peace. From mm-hmm. my perspective, I'm looking at you. All I see is Muslims who believe in Allah, who pray five times a day. And who will fight jihad, bro? Are you telling me that you don't believe in jihad? So, Bakanga. Are you saying that you don't believe in jihad? No, we believe in jihad, but they don't do it the correct way. Oh, no, oh, no, bro. You believe in jihad, son. I don't distinguish you from them people. <laughs> Every listen, Muslim listen, listen. in jihad. Listen, listen, bro. If you believe in jihad, no, all bro, due respect, what are you... Every Muslim respect, believes in jihad. You and them people, you're on the same team. No, we're not. Don't ever. You just say got that. different listen. jobs, bro. Listen, listen, bro. It is a. It's kind of like a bad cop, this good cop relationship. This is a hasty generalization fallacy. It's a good cop, bad cop relationship. Okay, okay. If I see as an example, Bakanga, wait. May I just ask? You're you're 100 African, right? More like infinity percent African. Okay, okay. So let's say I see a group of African people, right? Let's say I see a group of African people. Um, let's say I see a group of African people storm into my house, kidnap my baby brother, kidnap everybody in my family, ruin my life, absolutely make me miserable, and I start right, and they just make me so mad, right? This is what they do. They they are ruining my life from a young age, and then I look at African people, and I say. I hate African people now, and African people are loser kidnappers that storm into people's houses and ruin others' lives. Am I going to take this specific group of African people and represent the entirety of the African community uh, no. in accordance to this specific no. group? Let me tell yes you why no? not, because being okay, African exactly. is not so a belief. Do the same thing with Islam. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Being African is not a belief. Being no, African it doesn't matter. It's being, not, bro, African. bro, listen, listen, bro. It's listen, regardless bro. of the belief. They being African is not a belief, belief, but being a Muslim is a belief. The deviant sex that you listed. Don't being African is not belief. a belief, but being a Muslim is a belief. If you and the terrorists believe the same, you are the same. Okay, wait, but guess what? The the, the terrorists they label themselves Muslims and believe by name. It don't matter. You label yourself Muslims too. No, but their actions don't reflect it. Their actions do not reflect their beliefs. Uh, well, how do I know whose version of Islam is the real one? Why should I believe you by over them? At, what okay, if what if looking, what if they are the real Muslims and you are the fake one? No, no, no. But you have to look back. No, to bro. The Quran but what Sunday. if you? What if they are the real and Muslims we have to, and you are the fake one? Okay, now, how are we the? Okay, okay. Listen, 
we you know that that's where we establish authenticity and we have the the companions the students of the companions and the students of the students of the companions the tab tab right and we have these three generations these are the greatest of scholars we go back to them who actually right hmm? they brother, bring us that's back just to bullshit, bro you're, you're just going on a ramble of bullshit. my question to you is bro okay what if okay in so reality, from an outside perspective, just check this out bro check this out bro. so african people are how terrorists. do i distinguish if you are the real one and they are not because guess what there was a time when muslims fought the crusades do you do you do, are, are you in support of the crusades and the wars that were fought for the crusades are you against the crusades i'm against the crusades yeah so you don't think muslims should have fought the crusades no we fought in self-defense no it wasn't self-defense huh it was. It was conquest. Have you ever heard of Mehmed the Conqueror? What? The Have you ever heard about Mehmed? The one who conquered the the the, the Caliph who who conquered Constantinople. Oh, who, uh, Ottoman Empire. Yes. What about Those were Muslims? They did yeah, it by the will of Allah. Yeah, there. That's a W Empire. It don't matter. They were Muslims. Just like, listen, bro, just like we don't distinguish between Christians and Catholics. <laughs> okay, Bakanga, Bakanga. This is where non religious people actually become to be so arrogant. You have to uh, make the distinction. Arrogant for calling a spade a spade. Ignorant, arrogant for calling a spade arrogant. a spade. Ignorance, ignorant, not arrogant. No, no, no. Listen to me, bro. If, okay, think about a dude in Germany, right? If somebody comes over here and begins to call himself by the same name, they say, for example, oh, I'm Gestapo. Oh, I'm the SS police. Bro, why wouldn't I associate wait, wait, Bakanga, that person? Bakanga, wait, wait, Bakanga, just let me say something to you. I'm saying you have to make the distinction. And you asked a brilliant question. I make question. no distinction. I make no, no distinction. Question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good question. Good question. Because you said, oh, well, how do we know which one is the true belief? So I'm telling you, you go back to the sources. You have the Quran and the Sunnah. And you have these sources. You look at them. You no, can but understand if you go back to the sources, Muhammad himself was a conqueror and a colonizer. A colonizer and a conqueror. Yeah, he, he colonized very, Arabia. He, yeah, he, he was a he, very. He fought. He was a very he fought, good war. Killed and destroyed the pagans that used to live there and took over their kingdom, and then established Islam. Listen, I'll tell you something about jihad. Throughout entire Islamic history, if you read one book about Sirah, we never fought one single war that wasn't in self-defense. Well, that everybody was... else is fighting in self-defense. No, 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 they're not. How about forgiveness? Why don't you forgive? Why don't you just forgive? If if you if you are so sure you're going to paradise after you die, why don't you just just not fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a part of the Islamic Sharia. No, bro, bro. Yeah, I'm they, asking you. Listen, no, bro. Wait, if wait, you are listen, so sure, if Muslims are so sure Bakanga, that they're going to paradise, why yeah. don't you just not fight back? No, but what? We did fight back. But I'm telling you, Bakanga. No, listen, no. Why no, don't you just not fight back? You fought back because you were not sure you were going to paradise. Oh, oh, not fight back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bakanga. You're asking about forgiveness, but I'm gonna tell you one law. According to Sharia law, right? If you have that the opposing group of people that is attacking you, if they want to suddenly, after you begin the self-defense, right? If they suddenly want to stop and say, hey, man, you know, we're trying to have peace. You are obligated to accept a peace treaty. And you're supposed to make peace. That's not them. my point. That's not my no, point. No, no, but, but your point is if we're guaranteed paradise, why should we brother, brother, fight back? If you follow the laws of the Quran and you obey Allah, are you going to, are you going to paradise? If you what? If you follow the laws of Islam and you obey Allah, are you going to paradise? If you strictly follow, yeah. I mean, I assume. Okay, yeah, good. I'm not the, so no, guess wait, what? Wait, 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 um, no, of course, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to paradise or not, but I'm trying. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So, you're anxious, so you live your life, so you're gambling. So, you're gambling with your existence? No, no, like, I mean, depends. But if you you're mean. not sure, that means that you don't know, you might as well be flipping a coin. No, it depends if you bro, mean, you, like, do, do, like bro, if you, you mean do, eventually, do, 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 do if you, you mean eventually. Sure? You, do you want me to tell you the real reason why you're not sure? Do you want me to tell yes. you the real reason why you're not sure? Bakanga, every Muslim goes to paradise eventually. We know Brother, every do you want me to tell you why you're not sure? 
No, I am sure, Bakanga. I, I'm sure I'm gonna go to paradise at a point. Hold on, hold on. But you just said a few minutes ago you weren't sure. Why did you just change yourself? Why are you contradicting no, yourself? No, no, no. You can't I mean, be sure and not sure at the same time, bro. No, 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 no. And I thought you meant that, that is a I... contradiction. No, 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 Bakanga. I thought you meant if you die, right? And after, I mean, on the day of judgment, when you are judged, instantly going to paradise or instantly going to hell. I don't know the decision between that, but I do know that every Muslim who has a single ounce of faith in his heart is eventually going to go to paradise, even if they serve time in hell. Oh, so hell is like a prison? Hell is temporary for some Muslims, yeah, but for the disbelievers, hell is eternal. And who told you that? God. No, Muhammad told you that. <laughs> no, that sounds to me like human logic. A God doesn't need to incarcerate people, bro. A perfect God can just cleanse you in the blink of an eye. He doesn't need to make you go and suffer. He doesn't need to lock you up in jail, bro. Prisons is only because we don't have a way to rehabilitate the people that commit crimes. You understand? We only have Wait, a prison. Prophet listen, Muhammad listen, bro. Hold up, hold up, bro. Listen, 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 listen. Wait, but the prophet doesn't say anything brother, that brother, wasn't listen, told by listen him carefully, by God. Listen carefully. We only have prisons as human beings because we don't yet have the science on how to instantaneously rehabilitate rehabilitate our people that commit crimes. If we had like a drug that we could give a criminal to turn them into a normal person, we would just do it. You understand? If we were God, if we were God and we had like a pill that we could just give you and you could stop doing all the evil stuff in Anthony, the world, we would just I'm not do that. Sure. I don't know bro, why bro, you guys bro, are just listen, listen, in listen, the listen, bro. Listen, bro. Y'all are mad glazing. If in the we had a way to rehabilitate criminals immediately, we would do that. That's what makes most logical sense. You can't tell me that an almighty supreme being has a prison. There is no need for a prison in a kingdom oh, yeah, where there's the way, an Bakanga, almighty supreme Bakanga, god. Bakanga. No, there's already a there's already a proper societal societal rule. No, that's um, bullshit. Yeah, so let's say if that's somebody's bullshit. soul. That's Wait, no, but but okay, okay. No, that's so not Bakanga. you just bullshit, that's living shit. That's holy oh. shit. Yo, chill. So, Bakanga, if somebody stole something, instead of sending him to the prison and having him abide by the prison system, which is just not progressive at all within a society, you could have actually his hand be chopped off, which is more rational. No! <laughs> no, which is more... No. What do no. you mean, no? Why'd you make that face? So, if you have no. his hand chopped... Give me a second. If you have no. his hand chopped off I as said an example... No. No, no, it makes the society more progressive because it puts no. fear to other people to not steal ever again. No. Okay, what's the problem? You do not cut off a man's hand for stealing, no matter what the man does. That is evil. Why? Why? Because stealing is not just something you do with your hand. Ha ha! Bro, 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 bro. Who who decided what? that, bro? Okay, so you're telling me you what, can steal What is the value hand? of a man's hand? Wait, so you could steal with... You no, know, wait, I'm saying whatever you... The point is, whatever you steal with, you get cut off. Are you telling me somebody steals you with You can their steal leg? someone's wife with your penis. How? Um, You're not going to go grab her by force. When you steal someone's wife, no, how do no, you no, steal no. someone's you're wife? Just rambling. When you steal someone's rambling. wife, how do you steal someone's wife? Sense. Okay, whatever you steal with, you get cut off. <laughs> Bro, that's animal behavior. That's animalistic. That is low IQ behavior. That is barbaric. That's, bro, that is... You have no basis for that. Dude, Bakanga, Yes, I have basis. That is vicious. That is that is literally... That's literally Bakanga, Bakanga, stone Bakanga, 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 Bakanga. caveman mentality, bro. No, 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 no. Bakanga, bro, that is caveman about. mentality. Bakanga, Listen to me, bro. We already, we already Listen to me, bro. When, we, when someone steals, our number one focus is to teach them that stealing is not good and try to... Find a way to help them so they can become a contributing member of society. Wait, but Bakanga, we already talked about the given knowledge of morality. You said that morality is subjective and depends upon the person, is experimental knowledge. That's what I'm saying. According to human law, right? According to human law, the reason why we have prisons anyways. For example, in Saudi Arabia, there was a system where women couldn't drive. Imagine that shit, bro. There's a system where a woman can't wear pants. If a woman wore pants, she was she had to be yo, publicly yo, wait, wait, wait. gnashed. No. So yes. I'll tell you oh yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. I agree more. But so I'll tell you something. How do you know bro, according bro, to your bro, experimental? How, how, how is a woman driving a crime that is worthy of being dude, publicly dude, lashed, Bakanga, bro? Nobody cares what you say if it's subjective morality. It's simple as brother, that. Brother, brother, I understand that, but I'm still saying it. I'm, I'm, I'm showing you that subjectively from my perspective. Okay, Any okay, Muslim but subjectively that practices, from my perspective, listen, bro, it's not listen, wrong. bro. Subjectively from our perspective as non-Muslims. What you guys are doing is animalistic. 
is the same no, thing no, the gorillas no, 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 no. who, do. It's who's, the same uh, thing who, the chimpanzees do. Who's our? Who's our? Not all non-Muslims believe that that's not good. Like a, all non-Muslims would never agree that you should chop off a man's hand. Christians believe that. They are probably worse than you. Yeah. They are. Yeah, they're probably so, they're probably worse than Muslims. We're not. But even, anyone that thinks that you should chop, anyone that, that thinks you should be the woman up for wearing pants, bro, it's not. Is that person has a low IQ? So, so, so no, no, low no IQ. Wait, wait. Orthodox anyone Christian, that thinks that you should beat a, a woman up Orthodox for wearing trousers, yeah, yeah, that wait, person has an examples. extremely, 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 extremely low IQ. Let me no intelligence at all. Wait, Orthodox Christianity and strict Christians who are not like Americanized and Westernized and are just completely not strict Christians believe like stricter apostasy laws than us, and you know believe in more strict laws, right? For example. Get those Christians out the way. We have, guess what? One point one billion part of the uh, of the world's population. Who do we have? Hindus. Hindus are super, super, super immoral people. So Hindus, as an example, we have a lot of Jews are immoral. A lot of Christians, a lot of Hindus, a lot of Jews. We got that out the way. A bunch of atheists are immoral. They're psychopaths who just do what they want because they believe nothing in life, like nihilism, for example. Right. So what do you think about this? Why are you calling Muslims animalistic when you have so many more people who do worse things? It, because fact, because right now, we just because another man commits a crime, it doesn't invalidate yours. Well, right now we're talking about Islam. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But I'm not saying because they right now the, the religion that is being judged right Wait. here, right now. The religion yeah, yeah, that yeah, the yeah, great know, Bakanga yeah, know, is know, judging. Bakanga, the religion yeah, know, that is being judged right now is Islam. And I'm telling I you. Know, yeah, I know Bakanga, but I'm not saying that just because the other there are other. Hold on, let me ask you world. a question. I, have you ever Wait, stolen yeah, in your yeah, life? Ask me after I'm done. Ask me ha, after I'm done. Have you ever stolen in your life? No. You have never stolen in your life? No. You fantastic liar. I've never stolen anything in my life. Bombastic liar. Professional deceiver. How? Truth twister. You are a tornado of lies. So I'm not saying that just because other parts of the world are doing worse that then that distracts us from the worseness or Brother, the wrongness that you we are said. Committing. You said wait, you wait, have never lied. You said you have never no, no, stolen no, no, in your I'm entire life. Because I'm what we are doing in the first place is not wrong, Bakanga. You're the Brother, one you said, wrong. you said, I'm hold asking up. you to did, prove did, how did you what just we are say doing to me, wrong. Listen, bro, did you just say to me that you have never stolen anything in your life? Correct. Thank you for your time today, okay, brother? This was a very beautiful conversation. I haven't. If you mean, like, steal, like, from the store and stuff like that. Bro, no, 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 I just mean stealing. Have you ever stolen anything in your life? So do you define like me taking? Have a you pencil? ever stolen anything in your life? That's what I'm asking. I don't know you. what you mean by stealing. Do you mean me taking a pencil from a teacher? As in stealing? Yes, yeah, stealing is stealing. Have you ever stolen anything? Anything? See, so if I so if I take a pencil from a teacher without asking her if I could have it, that's stealing. For your religion, they should cut your hand. Yes. So you owe you owe your religion a yeah. lot of hands by right now. If you've been stealing pencils, no, somebody but, needs to come I'm and not, take your I'm hand. Not, where I'm are you at, bro? Tell me where are you at, so I can call the Islamic police. Oh the morality my police. God! First of all, it's not what we categorize as stealing. And second of all, if you want to call that stealing, we're not under Sharia law right now. I mean, I uh, I don't live in Sharia law. It don't or matter. I'm gonna take you to where there is Sharia law, and we're gonna collect those hands because you owe you owe the hands. You owe you owe hands to Prophet Muhammad. That's not a thing. You yes, it is a thing. Me. You just said to me that you support hands being cut off for stealing and you have stolen in your life. Guess what? But I'm you, not you, you under Sharia hands. law in right fact, now. I'm not in fact, under since you don't have enough state. hands, we'll take those as well. To I'm see not how under you like Sharia states. Yeah, but Conga, I, I totally advocate for people getting their hand cut off if they steal something. Let us begin with you. I'm all for it as long as we start with you. Like I said so many times, if I lived under a Sharia state, I wouldn't have taken the pencil. And second of all, I don't even know if that's considered stealing. Oh, that's, not, that's foolish. So, so your religion is, you're willing to compromise your religion, huh? So your religion not, is not that important to you. You break the laws of your religion whenever there's nobody there to punish you. Because you know that Allah can't punish you himself. Huh? No, he can. There you go. Oh. You don't even believe in Allah. What? <laughs> if you believe in Allah, you won't steal the pencil regardless of where you are. You're only afraid to steal the pencil where there is Sharia, yeah, because you know that other human beings would punish you, not Allah. No. It's God's brother, law. Brother, this not, was a lovely conversation anyways, bro. It's I, I God's appreciate law, you, bro. Not the human's as always, yeah, bro, as always, me and you, we have, we have a good conversation, bro. I appreciate you, okay? Let me go on to your next guest. Yeah, this was a pretty you, okay, long bro? conversation, we, we can, son. We can, it pick, was, up, we can a... pick up next time where we left off today, okay? All right, yeah. Yeah, just remember, bro, you owe, you owe, you owe a lot of hands. I don't, but just hands. remember that you have no morality and it's subjective. Don't, don't worry, bro. It's not based on All me. Right, it's based son. on what you said, bye, bro. You, you owe bye, a lot son. of hands. Just, 
Just make sure you you, you sell Buy my African son. Buy my African son. You are African. I you're know. White African. Exactly. That's why you're my son. You're white African though. But that's why you're my son. Don't worry. You're white African. There's nothing nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Right, you're but, a black African I'm... though. <laughs> this dude put his hands down to have a debate with me on African. <laughs> okay, why? Well, I... That was fun. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. If you come up, just prove to me that your God exists, okay? That's what he was supposed to be doing. He didn't do it. So, he clearly couldn't prove that his God exists. The challenge. So why don't you believe that God exists? Because God doesn't exist. Why not? Because God is just an idea that was made up by human beings who are insecure about their humanity. Did the universe always exist? Or did the There's universe no such thing as a universe. The universe is an idea that we use to describe what we see, but it's very limited from every subjective perspective. The universe does not exist. Is it that doesn't. What you just it's just an idea. Yes, it's just an idea. Do planets exist? Planets exist in terms of astrology, which in of itself is just a story. But in terms of experience, nobody has ever seen a planet. All we see is lights in the sky. We don't even know if they're planets. We're the one that named them planets. But those objects up there are not inherently planets. So what are they then? They're just balls of light. That's what we see. What about stars? Just lights. What about Anything the sun? Anything that we observe in the heavenly, we can only interact with, with our sense of sight. And things what? that are th things that we see can either be tangible or holographic or reflective so we don't have a way to know if those are actually solid massive objects or if they're just projections we have no way to know what about the sun the sun is the same thing does the sun exist the sun exists how do you know that because we can observe it and we can feel its heat so if there's something that you cannot observe therefore that thing does not exist if you cannot observe it within the realm of your five senses Yes, it doesn't exist. Can you observe Pluto with your five senses? Yes. How can you observe Pluto with your five senses? I get a telescope to magnify my sense of sight and I can see Pluto. But those are not your senses though. You're using... Yes, it is. I still need to use my eyes. Even though I use a magnifying glass or I use a telescope, I still require my before, sense of sight. What about before the magnifying glass was invented? Did they not know no that Pluto. Pluto existed? Then there was no Pluto, yes. There was no Pluto because yes. they didn't have a magnifying glass? Yes. What world are you living in, sir? Listen to me. Like I said to you, bro, you don't so, know so in what you're observing in the sky. After, listen, listen, so hold up, hold up, bro. No, let me, let me, let me educate Pluto. you, okay? Let me hold educate on, you. Hold on, Pluto please, came please. Into Relax existence Relax for one second after, and try to, and try to get this point that I'm trying to it. tell you, bro. What we are observing in the sky, we don't know if it's a projection. A projection could be could be turned on and off. Perhaps Pluto turned on the moment that we could see it. Until we can, un, until we can for sure guarantee that Pluto is a solid massive object that could have predated our observation. It is also possible that Pluto could have just been there the moment we started observing it. In fact, the human eye has the ability to be optically deceived. So anything that we can only observe through optics, we cannot make conclusive statements about. So Pluto did not exist until the magnifying glass came into Onto existence. Onto the telescope, yes. Wow. So the sun Just did like not exist. Just like you did not exist to me until I met you. Use your brain, bro. So, but, Before but you I met me, existed. I didn't know you existed. But I you didn't still exist. Existed, though. But I no, still you did not exist. Though. You only exist now because now I know. So I never existed until I came to your life? Yes. Okay, so are there people existing right now in China? Are there people existing right now in China? Yes. How do you know that? There's ways to confirm that. No, can you see them? I cannot see them, but I can talk with them. I can communicate no, with them. No, but you can't see them, though. I can communicate with them within the realm of my five senses. No, but you can't, you can't see them, though. I can see you them. You said if we can't observe I can, something... I can then... see them. I can see them. You said 
we, if we can't brother, observe brother, them, brother, therefore they do I not I can exist. communicate with people in China. Not only that, but we have confirmed that China is a real place. We have confirmed it beyond shadow of doubt. Okay, do they come into existence after you observe them and talk to them? Or do they exist right now before you even observe them? Okay, you see, the people in China exist. But who those but, people but are doesn't exist individually. What? So until, what? listen, listen, bro, listen, listen. Until I know them individually, they don't exist individually. They only exist as a whole. The only Chinese people that exist individually are the prominent ones that we have encountered. If not, we can just make an assumption that, okay, there's 1.4 billion people in China. That's all we know. We don't know if what? Ying Zhanghu so exists. Oh, bro, listen, listen. We don't know if Ying Zhanghu exists or if of King Zhonghong exists or if Yang Wangwu exists. We don't know that until we interact with Wing Yang Hong. Then we know Wing Yang Hong exists. Chances is there could be people in China, but there's no Wing Yang Hong. There's no Wing Wang Sung. They, listen, bro, you could have people in China and there will be no Wing Wang Sung. I can't sit here no. and say to myself that Wing Wang Sung exists when I have never met Wing Wang Sung. You see what I'm saying? Well, if you're talking existence, about the existence person, has to be present and continuous. That is how existence is measured. So anyone who has died doesn't exist anymore. So, so basically, what you're saying right now is that the people in China do not exist until you observe them and speak to them and see them. Yes, until you can, uh, until you can experience. So things so that Chinese are out outside exist. your realm of experience don't exist. So Chinese people don't exist. Chinese people exist. But how do you know that? You you haven't talked to them. Because within the realm of my experience, there's such a thing as Chinese people beyond shadow of doubt. Yeah, but you've never observed them. You've never spoken. To I work I work people. with a co-worker from China. His name is Li. He speaks Chinese so, very well so and he can write the kanji very well. One, so because you talk to one Chinese person, that means one four point one point four billion of them exist? Logically conclusive, yes. But how? You said, well, I've never met them before. How do they exist? Because those, those other 1.4, they don't to exist to me as individuals. They exist to me as a whole. Can your brain not okay, comprehend okay, them? Okay, but I'm not asking you if they existed to you. I'm asking if they exist in general. Yes, they exist in general because we can confirm their existence right here, right now. So so did Pluto exist before the magnifying glass was, in, no. was invented? No. There was no Pluto. There was no such thing as Pluto anywhere Why? in the human world. There was not no such thing Why? as Pluto. Why? Because no one knew, no one had seen it, and no, it wasn't there until it was it proven mean, to be true. Listen, bro, you haven't bro, seen bro it, it wasn't there, no one knew it until it was proven to be true. Until it was proven to be true, it was just another fantasy, it was just fiction. Like everything else that is fictional, bro. Let me ask you something, bro, does Superman exist? Superman does not exist, no. No, hold on, hold on. Are you telling me that just because we've, we've never seen Planet Krypton, Superman doesn't exist? No, because uh, Superman is a cartoon made, made well, how by... Well, how do you know that the cartoon was not inspired by the real story? So do you how believe do you that, that Superman exists? Bro, bro, how do you know that Superman was not inspired by a, a real story? How do you know that Planet Krypton is not real? Are you telling me that Planet Krypton a, is not real? It's a, it's a damn cartoon, for God's sakes. Yeah, bro, your religion is a damn fairy tale. That's what I'm trying to tell yeah. you. So then why Yo, are you God, here talking God about is, a... God is a fictional character. God is a cartoon. So why are you... So why are you here speaking about a fictional character that you don't believe? Because exists? human beings, we like to entertain ourselves with fiction. We are entertaining ourselves with fiction, and we are using the fictional character of God to entertain ourselves the way we do with Superman. Then how come you never speak about Superman and Batman? Well, because God is my favorite fictional character. God is my favorite fictional character, especially Allah and Jesus. Oh, okay. So are you saying that Jesus never existed? No, he never existed. Even though we have historical evidence? No, we have no to... historical. Oh, it's, it's historical bombastic lies. So archaeological, uh, archaeologist, historical evidence does not exist? No. Nope. Not for Jesus. There are other things that we can confirm, but not for Jesus. How long has Africa existed for? As long as you've known that it exists. How many kings in Africa have there been throughout the history of Africa? Innumerable. No, they didn't exist. You're a liar. Sure, that's fine. If they don't exist for you, that's fine. No problem. So did they exist or, or not? They don't exist. No, but I'm asking you, did they, you, see, you said that they existed, am I correct? They don't exist. 
So they didn't exist. So Africa never existed. They don't exist right here, right okay. now. There's no the, African the, kings. The, the there's no, Africa there's no innumerable ever... amount of African kings. If you can't go to Africa and find that king, that king doesn't exist. Okay, Bakanga never existed. Do you agree with that? Of course, Bakanga means nothing. So it never existed. Bakanga means nothing. So then why do you call yourself Bakanga then? Because I'm nothing. So you're not a person? No. So then what the hell are you? Nothing. Okay. I know. I know. Your brain has been bacangalized, reorganized. Your mentality has you been are twisted the most and repositioned in reality. You are the most weirdest person I've ever spoken to on TikTok. Oh, so maybe I'm just significantly more intelligent than you and I leave you speechless at every angle of conversation. So you don't believe that you actually exist? I don't need to. When something is true, you don't need to believe it. Believe is for people who are ignorant. So you don't exist? I don't need to exist. You but think that existing... Exist? Listen, bro, do you think that if I exist, then all of a sudden I won't have to go to work and go and work? If I if, oh, if I exist, then all of a sudden I'm not going to get hungry? What benefit does... What, what do I benefit from existing? Does it change? It doesn't change circumstances to say I exist. If I exist, I exist. If I don't exist, I don't exist. Saying that I exist or having to believe that I exist is a waste of time. It's a waste of mental power. It's, it's wasted mentality, bro. You don't need to believe in things that are sure, that, that things that, that are beyond your opinion. Your opinion is not what makes something true. If something is, it is what it is. You know, before I came up to, to, to your live over here, you were talking about good and evil. Am I correct? No, you're wrong. Do you believe that good and evil exist? I don't believe in anything, bro. So you saying I don't believe in anything, that's your belief that you don't believe in anything. So you no, do believe I don't believe in anything. Don't believe in anything. I don't believe in anything. That is a fact. That means I don't believe in anything. You so, don't need so to insinuate anything other than that. So you believe that you don't believe in anything. I know correct? that I don't believe in anything. It's a fact. And I can prove to you that I don't believe in anything. Okay. Um, what's the difference between good and evil? A matter of opinion. So, so good and evil are not objective realities. Nope, one hundred percent subjective. A person, so, if a person goes out and unalives one million innocent people, did he do evil or did he do good? Well, if that person did evil, then we should indict Muhammad and his followers because they've probably unalived more than one million people since that religion started. Okay, but why is that? No, no, listen, listen, listen. I'm telling you, if you think that unaliving 100 million people is bad, let us bring Muhammad and all his followers for the last 1,400 years and let's take them to court and indict them because they clearly have unalived more than 1 billion people. Okay, but how, is that evil? I'm asking you, is that an evil thing? It depends on who you're talking to. If you're talking, talking to a Muslim, to what Muhammad and his followers have done is not evil. If you're talking to a Christian who is not Muslim, they might think that that's evil. That's why I say it's a matter of opinion, bro. Use your brain. You're so it's subjective, not objective, then? It's 100% subjective. Okay, so I'm asking you, is it evil or is it not evil? I don't care. You don't care if a man goes out and... Butchers? I don't care to judge oh, wow. when I'm not the one that passes the verdict, neither am I the one that passes the punishment. It's a waste of my mental power. I only judge things that I have 100% control over. So, so I don't care. Came... I don't so care. If somebody came into your household and unalived your family would you care or would you not care well i want to like them yeah but would that be an evil thing no so it wouldn't be evil if somebody came into your house no they gotta do what they gotta do against your will and unalived one of your family Shit. if i can stop them then i can stop them if i can't stop them then good for them but, but you, guess what i will respond evil, appropriately though. listen bro you gotta that. do bro bro the thief gotta do his thing and the police gotta do his thing it's none of my business the thief is free to steal and the cop is free to catch him. No problem. That's so how it works, bro. Just like, listen, so bro, the, the, the gazelle. Listen, so do you like agree said, that people he, have free will? Nobody has free will. You just said that they have free will. No, I did not say free will. I said free to choose. Yeah, that, that's free choice. Freedom, free that's choice freedom. and free will are two different things, my friend. There's a difference so between freedom, a will and a choice. Freedom to choose is a freedom of will, right? Nope. So when you choose, you're not actually choosing? When the freedom to choose is within a limited amount of options. Freedom to will insinuates that there is no limit to options. What? 
freedom to choose is only within you only have to choose because you have a limited amount of options if the, if if your options were not limited you wouldn't even have to choose free will insinuates that you have no limitation to your options that's why you are free to will whatever you want to for example i can will to be on on pluto right now and all of a sudden i'll be on pluto but i cannot will to be on pluto it's impossible. I am even limited by my even knowledge of if Pluto is real. You are always limited. Human beings are limited, right? But Pluto so we don't have free will. We only have free choice. And our free choice is limited to the options that we are free to choose between. So if you have two options, you are free to choose one or the other. But Pluto doesn't exist according to you, right? Sure. Don't worry about that. <laughs> and you don't believe that the universe exists? Do you believe that the universe exists? Well, of course. Our, have you our, ever seen the universe? Have you have you ever seen the universe? The entire universe? No. So how do you know it's a universe? Because you we, you, you just made it up in the are, back of your head. Because our planets are inside of the universe itself. How can you know that your planet is inside of something if you've never been outside of that thing? Uh, you can't. But, 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 exactly. Outside, exactly. But, my point. My point. My point. <laughs> you don't even know how big what your inside is. You have never seen anything outside what your inside, but you think you're inside of something, bro. That seems to me like a mental disconnection, a form of a mental discrepancy, my brother. Do you believe that the Earth is flat? I don't believe in anything, bro. I already told you that. Okay. Do you know that the Earth is flat? I don't need to know anything about the Earth other than the fact that it's dry ground and water. Okay, but what do you think about the Earth? Is nothing. It flat or is it? I think nothing. You don't care. Why should I? People you don't care about anything, should... do you? <laughs> Let do, me ask you something. You... Do you think that Muhammad split the moon? Do I believe? I'm not. I'm not Muslim. Are you a Christian? Yes. You think that Jesus walked on water? If I believe in super, do you think that Jesus walked on water? Because that's more ridiculous than flat earth. Because, because I believe in God. Do, do you I think believe... that Jesus walked on water? Yes or no? Because I believe in supernaturals, brother, bro, I believe... bro, you believe in supernaturals like you believe in flat earth, son. I don't believe in a flat earth. Though. Okay, but but you believe that snake can talk. I believe in the supernaturals. No, bro, that's not supernatural. It's snake talking. That is mental illness. How is that a mental illness? Bro, if someone came to your house and told you that their dog was talking, you would not think it was supernatural. You would think they have mental issues. What if I told you that my parrot talks? Parrots mimic human speech to a certain degree without understanding or having a form of intelligence. That is not but, implausible. But they still, now, but they still, if but you they tell still me that your God can talk, if you tell me your God can talk, that's a whole other story. Can your God talk? Can my God talk? Your yes, goat, 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 G-O-A-T. My goats? I don't. Yeah. I don't own any goats. Oh shit! You sounding to me like someone that raises cattle or, or keeps animals. No problem. Um, but uh, do you have a dog or a pet that talks? No. Other than a parrot? No, I, I don't even but, have a but, parrot. But you believe that snakes can talk? I believe in the supernatural. Yeah. Do you believe that snakes can talk? I did not ask you if you believe in the supernatural. Do you believe snakes if, can talk? If, if God wants to make snakes I, I'm not, talk, I'm not. Yeah, no, there's not if. Do you believe that snakes can talk? Yes or no? I believe that if God wants to make Brother, snakes talk, do you talk, believe yes, that snakes can talk? If God wants to make, snakes I did not ask talk? you. I did not give you a presuppose. Do you believe snakes can talk? Yes or no? That's all I'm asking. Yes or no? I don't care no. how. I, I don't believe that snakes can talk. No. Okay, so you don't believe in the Bible. Good job. Congratulations. No, I do because if I believe. Okay, then if you in believe in the Bible, then you believe then that I snakes can... can talk. Yeah. So I don't believe snakes could talk, but I believe that God could make snakes talk. And how? How how can God do that? Because it's a supernatural how? thing. How? How can God make it? But it doesn't it's say in the Bible that it was supernatural. The Bible doesn't say it was supernatural. It's a supernatural thing. No, that the Bible is did not say it was supernatural like that the snake to talked to prove. Eve. It, the snake was talking like, to Eve very naturally. <laughs> that's like me trying to prove. Bro, the a snake was to talking to Eve in the Bible very naturally. The Bible doesn't say it was supernatural. I neither did God say in the Bible that the snake would no longer be able to talk. So God did not punish the evolution? snake by taking away his speech. The Bible says, guess what? The snake was cunning and the snake came to Eve and literally talked to Eve the way it was normal. It was natural. It wasn't supernatural. Okay, so, so do it you was believe very that? natural. You are deflecting because you cannot justify your ridiculous beliefs. Okay, so do you believe in evolution? 
No, I don't believe in anything. You keep asking me that nonsensical question. Did you know according to evolution, snakes had legs? Bro, I don't care. I don't believe in evolution. You don't believe in evolution, even though... I don't believe in anything, bro. You have no belief in anything. How many times do I need to tell you that? Because it's kind of hard. I think you're disingenuous. You're you're lying. You can think whatever you want to think, but I have told you what I have said. If your brain cannot contain that, that sounds like a you problem, not like a me problem. Okay, so let's not ask you. We know 100% that snakes had legs. It's not a belief or anything. You and who? We know 100%. You and who? You and who? The scientist that have we, proven Which scientist? Give me, what's their name? I can't give you the names off the you top and your of my imagination. head. I, mean, I can go on to... Um, you and your imagination. It is you and your imagination, research. my brother. It is you and your imagination. So, so let me ask you another question. Do you know that um, dinosaurs existed? In the back of your head, they do. So dinosaurs never existed? I'm pretty sure giants existed too. And the Anunnaki's existed too. And aliens exist too, right? And flat no, earth, right? No, 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 I don't believe in aliens or anything. But you believe but in you dinosaurs? Know, um, do you believe in aliens? I already told you I don't believe in anything. So, okay, so... I'm sure your brain works, bro. Okay, um, so, so do you agree that dinosaurs did exist? I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, I've never seen a dinosaur that don't exist. So because you've never seen a dinosaur walking around, therefore it does not exist? Facts. Even though we have fossils of dinosaurs, that means no, we don't have no fossils exist. of dinosaurs. Have you ever seen one? So, so you're a dinosaur. Have you ever, have you ever seen a fossil of a dinosaur? Like in Jurassic yes, Park? Oh, 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 shoot. So yes, you watch the movie Jurassic one. Park, now you believe in dinosaurs? Look at you. Embarrassing yeah, your intelligence. Yeah, I, I have seen fossils. You are actually. embarrassing your intelligence. So, so have you ever been to a museum? Many museums. Have you seen the fossils of dinosaurs that we have at the museums? No, I've seen the structures from Jurassic Park in the <laughs> museums. Yeah, you know, those are the bones of dinosaurs, right? No, those are like man-made structures. <laughs> wow. So, so, so the dinosaurs perished and left those nicely well-designed and very beautifully polished fossils behind? Yeah, bullshit. So I can surely call you a Deniosaurus, right? You deny that dinosaurs existed? No, I'm just telling you that there is no evidence to suggest beyond shadow of doubt that they did exist. So, well, your, your point was, we have never seen dinosaurs walking around. We have no evidence to prove beyond shadow of doubt that dinosaurs exist. If you do it, you might as well be a flat earther, son. Are you a flat earther? We have, we have fossils. Are, are, you, are you a flat earther? No, no, no. Okay, I think then you are. don't worry about the dinosaurs. I think you're a flat brainer. That's what you are. Okay, I know. It's okay, I think no your problem. brain is very flat. Hey, no problem. <laughs> Anyways, man. You have a good night, man. Take care with your... Uh, you have been back and You tried no, 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 your no. best, man, but you and all your religious folks. You know what is amazing? The whole time you came and talked, you still didn't prove that your God exists, which is amazing to me. <laughs> okay, so because you can't agree. You came over here and asked me 10,000 questions, agree. and you didn't even I attempt prove to prove that your God exists, son. How can I you prove lost, something You that lost before you, you even came to this show. You don't believe in anything. If I tell the you that the, the universe the, the exists, same way you believe you that snakes talk. Just ask yourself, ask how you, can you believe that snakes can talk? If I That's the same way that they, I believe in nothing. If I ask you that the universe exists, you say no. Well, I asked you if you believe in stalking snakes and you said yeah. Okay, but how can I prove something to you if you disagree with everything that exists, even yourself? Um, because you can't you prove even shit. Agree that you, you can't prove shit. Person. Listen, bro, you can't prove shit. It's like me talking to a donkey. You understand what I'm hey, saying? Hey. In your religion, donkeys can, donkeys can talk. So I'm not surprised that you talk to donkeys. <laughs> exactly. You have proven that my Bible is true, that donkeys could talk. Yes, of course. Donkeys can talk in your Bible. It makes sense. So so let me ask you, you think I'm a donkey? So it is true. So the Bible is hold true. Up, hold donkeys up, could hold talk up. Hold up, check this out. You think I'm a donkey? Yeah. Good, good. Can you make that the sound sense. of a donkey? That, that, it, it makes sense that you would think that human beings are donkeys. <laughs> are you a human being? Are you sure you're a human being? Oh, I'm, I'm no one. I'm no one. Yeah, I'm you're no one. one. Exactly, exactly yeah. what I said. So but to you, so but to you, nothing. but to you, but but to you, I'm a donkey, right? 
Yeah, to me, you're a donkey. And, I, and that's, that's the wisdom that your God you gave you, right? you have proven that donkeys could talk. Hold on, hold on, bro. Is that the wisdom that your God gave you? No, that's the wisdom that I got from talking to you, from observing you. Oh, but was it the Holy Spirit that inspired you to discover that I was a donkey? No, it was it was, it was was my eyes so, that So you don't have the Holy me. Spirit? Are you saying you don't have the Holy Spirit? No, what I'm saying is that it was No, 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 hold on, bro. Are you saying me. you are a Christian who doesn't have the Holy Spirit? Because if you no, don't have what, the Holy what? Spirit, it must have been the Holy Spirit that told you I was a donkey. <laughs> it was the same Holy Spirit that told you that donkey spoke in the Bible. It's the same Holy Spirit that told you that slaves can... Bro, when you are talking with someone that has mental issues, you should expect ridiculous things like what you are saying. So I'm not mad at you, bro. Do you if have you think I'm a donkey, bro, I'm, I'm all down for it, man. You know, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not hostile towards do, people with mental issues. Do you issues. have mental issues or... You do, do you have mental issues. issues or no? You have mental issues. Really? Because you don't even believe that you exist. I know beyond shadow of doubt, and I can prove that you have mental issues. Do you exist, yes or no? I don't care. It doesn't matter to <laughs> me. I never asked you if you cared or not. I said, do you exist? No. <laughs> you don't exist. Why do I need to exist? And I'm the one with mental issues. Let right? me ask you a question. No, no, no. Answer this question, right? Since if if you answer this question, you prove that I have mental issues. But if you can't answer this question, then you prove that you have mental issues. Why do I need to exist? Why do you need to exist? Yes, answer the damn question. If you if you're so smart that I'm the one with mental issues, tell me why I need to exist. Because donkeys do talk, therefore you exist. That's 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 the reason why you think I need to exist? Yes. Bro, the Holy Spirit must be a dumb spirit because if that's the best the Holy Spirit can do, son. <laughs> like, how are, how are That Holy Spirit is somebody... worthy of being blasphemed. So you think I need to exist and that's your reason, bro? That is the smartest thing you can say when someone asks you, why do I need to exist, bro? Tell me, you are so insistent that I need to exist. You asked me if I exist and I said no. So now tell me why you think that I need to exist. Bro, you don't need to exist. That okay, so matter. I what don't exist. Why do you have a problem with me not existing? I'm not, I'm not trying to... Why do I, I have to exist for you to... Listen, do you know, do you know why you're so you. desperate for me to exist? So that you can put me in a box and categorize not, me to justify bro, your insecurities that, in life. I'm not saying that you need to exist. I'm just asking you if you do exist. And I said no. And do you actually if, if existence is not a necessity, like... then it is possible to, for someone to exist and it's possible for someone to not exist because existence is not a necessity. If it's a necessity, tell me why it's a necessity. Tell me why you think it's necessary for me to Hold exist. Hold on. Hold on, Bakanga. Do you actually think that you're smart? Definitely smarter than you and your entire bloodline. <laughs> do you actually think am that I, you're I might not be as, I might be the dumbest human being in the world, but there's only one person and their entire bloodline that I'm smarter than you. And your bloodline. Um, because you clearly have listen, bro. In our interaction, you have not proven that you're smarter than me. So I am confident that if I am dumb, at least there is one person I'm smarter than you. Yeah, I don't think you're. Sm I don't think you're wise at all, my friend. You don't. Well, of course you're, you're not going to think I'm wise, considering the fact that I'm smarter that you than you, exist, bro. People usually people people will never consider the people who are smarter than them. Like I said, I, I, I can prove that I'm smarter than you any day, anytime. You're right here, right now. Prove to me that you're smarter than me. Why do I need to exist? Tell me. Why do I need to exist? Uh, if you're so I never smart, said if me. you need to exist or not. What I'm just Brother, but I am asking you, you why do I need to exist? That's what I'm asking you. You need to exist. The reason why you exist is to prove to the sh uh, without a shadow of a doubt <laughs> that God has created people without a brain like yourself. See, now I really do believe in God. After talking to you, now I surely do believe that God exists. If that's your reason why you believe in God, bro, your mental condition make a lot of sense. <laughs> so dumb. Bro, if that is your reason for believing in God, bro, I'm not gonna argue with you, bro. Bro, I would not invalidate your God. I have respect for your God. If that is how you came to conclusion that God exists, man, your mental issues, bro, Listen, bro. I used to work for. I used to work in the in when I was in high school. You know why? I you know to, why? I bro, that? let me you tell you one of my experiences, bro. When I was in high school, I used to I used to be in a in a program called Pals, where we used to go and work with disabled kids. And bro, I'm so glad to run into one of them again, bro. It's been a long time, man. You know, I, I'm glad to see that you've been doing fine. Do you still take medicine, my brother? 
You know why I stated those things? Because of you, I believe that Cause, God cause you stopped, exists cause you stopped even more. To, you stated those things because you stopped taking your medicine. Your because the Bible says this. The fool says in his heart, God does not exist. So I and common to sense says, and the fool says in his that heart the that God exists. On TikTok. Listen, the, the Bible says that a fool says that God doesn't he exist. And common sense says that a fool says that God exists. So who is more true, common sense or the Bible? Mm -hmm. No, because you are foolish. No, you bro, are very do you have, bro, do you have common sense? No, but what, what I'm trying to tell you bro, is do, that... Do you, no, I'm just asking you, do you have common sense? Of course I have common sense. Okay, common sense says that God doesn't exist. And that anyone who believes in God has mental where issues. Where does common, common sense, sense say that God does not exist? Because your common sense common says... Sense, common sense says that... Common sense says that fictional characters don't exist. Fairy tales don't exist. But your common sense tells us that dinosaurs never existed. Of course, they don't exist. It's just a theory. <laughs> All right, man. Well, you have a good night, okay? I don't know what you're smoking, but you keep on All smoking right. what you're smoking, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm smoking some reality. I know you're smoking you're some holy sure spirit. Pretty sure it is. I, I know. I know you're smoking some holy spirit, aren't you? I, I hope it's. I hope it's not those. Are you? Are you uh, uh, how, what are you smoking? Nowadays. Some holy spirit. I hope it's not those blue pills that everybody is doing nowadays. Bro, are you smoking some Holy Spirit? Weird dude, though. <laughs> Says the guy. Turn on your camera. Let us see you. You see, ladies and gentlemen, my dear religious people come and face me. Listen. At the end of the day, you can't stand before me. No matter how you do it. He still did not prove that his God existed. You realize my point? Despite the entire conversation, he still didn't prove that his God exists. Because you cannot prove something which doesn't exist, y'all. It is impossible to prove something that doesn't exist. That is why religious people don't have that ability to do so. Now, I gave that brother a lot of time. I'm going to run to the guest, okay? When you come up, go straight to your point. Don't even argue with me too long. Just go straight to your point. Prove that God exists. That God exists. Hello? Good Hello? Bob Kanga, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Please go straight to your point. I don't have too much time. Um, I did not need to prove anything to you, okay? I have a, You have 912 people here watching you. You understand? My name is a blessing at a job. My name is not a splash spin star. That's just a, a nickname. But, but I just want to say something this morning. Um, you know, in, in this life, even I don't even know if uh, uh, the, we grow to know that our parents tell us, even in the church, they tell us that God exists. But every day I pray for God to show, to open my third eye to see. But I always believe in me that God truly exists. You understand? You get me? You only believe because you are afraid. You only believe, you only believe because of the consequences that your pastors have told you that if you don't believe that you're going to be punished in hellfire. That's the only reason why you believe. I I, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Well, if but you don't know what that means, ma'am, then I encourage you to continue to watch my show, okay? I don't really have too much time. Like I said, I don't have time to go into an in-depth conversation with you. What I will tell you is that if you don't know how proof that God exists, go and find that proof. But if you're going to keep believing in something that you don't have proof, you are wasting your life. Thank you, okay? I appreciate you, my sister. Bless right, you. I, I don't think I'm wasting my life and every other person... Well, you clearly are wasting your life because you could be doing more with your life rather than believing in fantasies. Okay. Go straight to your point, please. There is no fact when it comes to knowing that there is a God or that there is not a God. Nobody, there's no fact. The fact is that there is no God. If you believe in God, you're delusional. And you don't even know it. Good morning, Hello? sir. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, sir. Please go straight to your point. Yeah, um, I just want to ask you if you believe in the fourth element. I don't I believe in anything. You, 
you don't believe in anything that means you yes. don't believe in your, you don't even believe in yourself why do i need to you need to believe in yourself because all your argument all your um, um speeches that because you believe in you just no just because if what i'm saying is true it doesn't require belief so what, how do you know you, what you say is true? Just because, because it is observably so, regardless of opinion. Belief is just an opinion. Belief is what you okay, think is true, right? Okay, don't don't be too be calm. Calm down, okay? Calm down. Don't worry about don't you, don't, don't worry okay, about if I'm if, coming up or coming down. You, just make your point. If, if you think what you say is true, that because you believe in what you say, I know that what I'm saying is true, and it is true regardless of even if I say it or not. That's why I don't need to believe. And it's not a matter I, of belief. There is no God. I got you. Okay, back under. How how did you get those power to talk about God exists or not? Simply by observing. Observing what? Our environment and what's around us. Uh, where your environment from? It's right here. It's not from anywhere. It's right here. It's, it's not, present. It's not from. It's not from anywhere. Where your mom did, from? Did it, did it come from your grandfather? Where your mom from? From her mom. Okay. Where your grandmom from? From her own mom. Exactly. That means everything come from somewhere, not anywhere. Never see that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did you just say to me that everything comes from somewhere? Exactly. Because you say everything from anywhere. You just hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just answer me, answer me. Are you, did you just say to me that everything no, comes from somewhere? Everything comes from anywhere. Where, you, you say, brother, you brother, say, answer the question, everything. please. I don't have time to go in circles. Did you no, just no, say no. to me that I, everything I, I, comes I, from somewhere? Hell yeah. Okay, where did God come from? Energy, the fourth element. Where did the God cosmos. come from? The cosmos. Just where, where did the cosmos come from? Where did the, the cosmos, cosmos come from? The, exactly. Now stop thinking like Bro, that. Bro, where did the cosmos come alive. from? What? Is where did the, the cosmos come from? Your, your brain cannot go that far bro where did the cosmos come from your brain cannot go that far all right Stop. bro thank you for you're your time okay you don't know what you're brain. talking about you're you said to me that everything comes from somewhere now i'm asking you where something that you said came from you can't tell me okay no it came from your imagination son brother everything you're telling me came from your imagination i'm sorry about that but i don't have time where are you from go straight to your point ladies and gentlemen go straight to your point Please, use your brain and bring reasonable arguments. Go straight to your point. Hi, Vaganga. How are you? Hello, I'm doing fantastic. What do you have I'm for me? I'm also fine. Can I please kindly ask a question? Um, go, hopefully, go it doesn't sound rude. And I'll try my best to kindly <laughs> answer the question. Do you have dreams at night when you're sleeping? Yes, I do. You do? Mm -hmm. okay do you believe that there's a source for that dream for those dreams that you have at i don't believe that there's a source i know what those dreams are you don't take dreams the rest i don't what or you do take them serious? do you take dreams serious i or take you don't dreams take seriously them as i take any of my other thoughts because dreams is just thinking don't you know that when your body is in a complete state of relaxation your thoughts begin to your, your thoughts become vivid like images you are, you are dreaming even when you're awake dreaming is simply thinking just in case you don't know that go, go to school and learn dreaming is simply thinking the problem is that when you are awake your five senses is actively collecting information that's why it's called consciousness but when you go to sleep you relax your body and your body is like people try to achieve that with meditation once your body is in a complete state of relaxation your thoughts because your brain is always thinking your thoughts begin to now appear as images like it's almost like when you close your eyes and you imagine something that's why it's called imagination 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 that's simply what your dreams is your dreams is not different from your imagination it is simply what it is that's why you can't control it because it is it is a autonomous brain function it's nothing special the only good thing that your dream can do your dream can help you understand your emotional state so your dream will always manifest themselves based on your emotions. If you're having a lot of negative emotions, your dreams will manifest themselves as nightmares. If you're having good emotions, your dream will manifest themselves as good, beautiful dreams. But it's all about your emotional state. It's really nothing supernatural. It's nothing special. If you're uneducated, just go to school and you will learn a little bit about it. Anything else that you have for me, sister? 
And uh, I was just asking if you do believe in dreams or not. I don't need and, to believe in dreams. Uh, dreams are dreams. About they are so, so it seems you have a different perspective from what I thought about dreams. Um, I'm not actually arguing. I was just asking. No, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. I feel you. I know you're not arguing, oh, okay. sister. It's a different perspective, but it's the same phenomenon. And what I'm trying to tell you is that it's not necessarily supernatural. It's not supernatural. It's very natural. Thank you for your time, okay? All right. Thank you. Go straight to your point, ladies and gentlemen. When you come up, go straight to your point. There is no God. There never has been and there never would be. If anyone doesn't like it, come up here and prove your God. And if you can't prove your God, that's because it doesn't exist. Hello? Yeah, so you, uh, you you just spoke about dreams and I wanted to say, so for me, I have a gift of dreams, which means when I dream something, it comes to pass. How do you explain that? That's bullshit. That's... How? Exactly how I just said it, like bullshit, like it's shit, like you're lying. I'm not lying because there is consistent evidence in my life now, in the past that people know when I've dreamt about something that will happen in the future and it came to pass. No, you so cannot dream of something. Know. Dreaming of something that's going to happen in the future is like you thinking of the future and then you say that it came to pass. Look, I can think about what I'm going to do tomorrow and then it will happen almost the way I thought about it. For example, I know that I'm going to go to work here in the next few hours. I can think about it. So just because I'm thinking about it while I'm asleep doesn't mean that all of a sudden now I'm predicting the future. No. Remember what I said to you. Dream is autonomous thinking. You're not predicting the future. You're just thinking about what you would do or thinking about the different possibilities. That's what it is. It's not special. You, the gift of dream that you think you have, you're not the only one that has it. Everybody else has gift of dream, Abby. Not be gift. No, not, it's not bodily function. Has a gift of dream. Everybody can dream. But the gift of dream is when you can you can dream and the dream comes to pass. It's not just about Sister, dreaming. Sister, if you had the ability of dreams coming to pass, you wouldn't even be able to... You know what? Let me not even insult you. Sister. Okay. That is useless African superstition, you understand. Nobody can it, dream the well, future. The future, the future is not something that you can dream. You can only predict the future. And prediction is based on probability. Okay. You cannot dream something and it comes to pass. Because in order for you to dream, you need to know the exact place, the exact time, the exact you need you need to have every single detail that is necessary that to establish a moment. It's called a gift. That is why you don't understand when we call it a gift. It's because it's not the normal. You are stating circumstances. Sister, if you are not having a normal experience when you're going to sleep, you have a mental yeah. issue. It's not a mental issue. Yes, it's a it's mental issue. Past. Yes, it's a mental it's issue. Because everything... Past. Okay, sister, sister, wait. Sister, mm -hmm. wait. Prove to me. Prove to me right here, right now that you ever had a dream that came to pass. Prove it to me. How are you going to prove it to me? All you can do is tell me a story. Call somebody. Okay. I can call somebody who is Okay, around. call them. Why didn't you bring the person up with you before you came up here? I told you I don't have too much time. No. The person is right here, so I can just wake him up and, and ask him. Hold on. Is it, is it the person that has been sleeping with you? No, my brother. It's not somebody who sleeps with okay. me. I'm a okay. married woman. And the second thing I wanted to tell you is that God, you said uh, to prove that God, if God exists and God does not exist, the only thing I want to tell you is that I don't argue when it comes to topics like that. Because um, you cannot prove God, it and I understand you. Okay, Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. God is God. In your for imagination. The fact that, for the fact that, let me complete my statement. The reason he is God is because you cannot understand his nature. But you, you have can. no so explanation. I cannot understand, but you can I, understand. No, I also can't. I also okay, can't. Okay, then if you can't understand, how do you that, know that? How do you know that? I'm I, saying how, that the sister, reason sister, why If we cannot understand God, his nature, how do you know he exists? It's because you can't explain him. Sister, how do you know that God existence. exists? Just tell me. We feel his existence. He you, works you, you, in feel, you feel his existence ways. with your skin People or with your emotions? People who pray, People who pray see revelations of the Sister, things they pray about. do you feel about. the existence of God the with your skin you don't or with your emotions? Him is what makes him a God. Sister, if I'm going to ask you one more time, okay? Him, Please, stop going on a ramble. If I wanted you to tell God. me a story, I would just come to you personally. Answer my no, question. No, I'm not saying a story. Do you feel God with your emotions or do you feel God with your skin? With, you said, do I feel him with my emotions? You can't feel God with your emotions. Emotions but are feelings. Example, emotions are okay. feelings. Okay, I'm not saying that I feel him by you that way. You said to me that you can feel God. You said to me that you can feel God, So right? let me explain my concept of saying Sister, I no, don't God. explain. Don't exp I don't have time. 
Can you say you can you feel God, right? You are asking me something I'm not related to. It's not applicable. Sister, you, you said to me that you can feel God, right? I don't feel him in my emotions, bro. But, but when okay, I do you feel him on your skin? How do you feel him? Do you feel him on your skin? God that you say does not exist. Sister, that thing, sister, I get please stop rambling on. And I will be forced to go to the next guest. Somebody there hearing my prayer. Sorry, I don't have time. She can't understand. She says she can feel God, but she doesn't feel him with her emotions or with her skin. How else does a human okay, being feel? Okay, but brother, I have a question. So you don't believe in God? I don't need to believe in God. God doesn't exist. That's a fact. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so I give you one reason. If, the, if it doesn't make sense, then your senses don't work. Okay, bro. So listen, bro. I love you because... Just listen, brother, okay? So you won't tell me that something explode over 200 i'm not telling you anything what i'm telling you is that you don't know stop claiming that you know and no matter what you do you don't know all you know is that the world was here before you were here and it's going to be here after you're here and that's it period that's it that's it nothing more nothing okay less. but now you want to tell me every finger point is not the same and something explode over 200 million years and put one finger it's not will be the same not only one will be the same and I, I tell you, if something was dead and came to life, whatever you say, that was God. If, if a blind guy don't see the sun, but he feeling the sun, so he know the sun is there, but he don't, but he don't see it. That's the same like God. You can't see him, but he is real. He God is real in your imagination. You made it up in the back of he your head. He is in your heart and he will love you. Well, God, there's no God in my chest. What you mean by heart is imagination. Yes, you made it up in your head. So God is in your heart, which you mean is your mind, your imagination. In your thinking in brain. Mind. Yes, you made it up in your head. You, you, you literally just said it to us that God is in your imagination. You just said it. Not in my head, in my heart. Bro, where is your heart located? Heart located? He opened it. On your chest? Yeah, brother. So hold up, you're telling me that God is inside your chest? He is in my ch in my heart, yes. So in, on your chest, on your heart, right here, right? Right there. G God is inside. God is inside your chest, right there. Right there, brother. You have mental issues. Thank you for your time, brother. I appreciate you. Okay? No, wait, wait a second. Wait a second, bro. Wait, no, no, wait. don't worry. I don't have a second, bro. Sorry. God is inside his chest, Abby. <laughs> Okay, go to the gym and do chest day. Lift some weights so your chest can get bigger. So God can have more space. God is inside your chest. Hello? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Please go straight to your point, please. What do you have for me? I just have a question for you. Go ahead. I'm listening. Where does everything come from? From nowhere. Okay, the human body, grass, air, the moon, the sun, the stars, buildings, intelligence, anything you can smell, see, where does it come from? Nowhere. Are you sure? I'm sure. I mean, let me ask you the question, the same question. Where do you think it comes from? Well, the human body is made from DNA that's submitted from a drop of blood that carries the, the blueprint for human beings. But I just don't know where that came from. Oh, you don't? Or so your answer is that you made. don't know? No, how was it made? I don't know. Mm -mm. Okay, good. When you say you don't know, is the equivalent of saying it came from nowhere because you don't know, right? When you don't know something, then it came from nowhere. There you go. We're on the same page. You don't know. It is not the equivalent. I'm asking you. Okay, if you thought it came from somewhere, tell me where did it come from? No, that was the question I asked you. And, and, and I said to I you that it not, came from nowhere. I said to you that it came from nowhere. And that's not true. Me, I came from my mama. Okay. Where did your mama come from? <laughs> she came from her mama. Okay, good. So keep going. Mama to mama to mama to mama to mama. You never end. You end nowhere. Yeah. So you where, end nowhere, right? Where, Listen, Where did listen, it, listen, listen. Did if you keep it, going back, you will end nowhere, right? Sir, 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 I'm not a spiritualist. 
I understand, sister. Your, if you keep going back from mama no, to mama to mama to mama, you will end no, nowhere, no. right? Sir, I do not care about if people believe in God or not. I, it's I not my. I understand that. I understand that, sister. Yeah, I understand okay. that. Okay. So blood, DNA, sperm, semen, trees, air, all that does come from somewhere. Where? That's what I'm asking you. Nowhere. I'm telling you that it doesn't come from nowhere. It doesn't come it from doesn't anywhere. Come. It doesn't come from anywhere. It is right here, right now. That's it. It's present and it's continuous. It doesn't originate from anywhere. Oh. It is here. It has always been here and it will always be here. If you don't like it, honestly, the only thing I advise people to do is to cry about it. No, my, my three children weren't always here until I had them and then they were here. Well, they were here. <laughs> <laughs> they were you here they just weren't your children they were, they were a sperm no. in someone's testicle and an egg no. in someone's stomach and where did the sperm and the egg come from from another person's testicle and from another person's egg and where did the first one come from it's just, you just keep going until you get to nowhere where did the first one come from originally there was no first one you keep going until you get to nowhere there's no first one you never get to an end was... Every time, anytime you get somewhere there is always another somewhere and you just keep going until you get nowhere can't you understand an infinite regression oh no it's you i'm asking you do you understand i understand very well i'm trying to tell you sister that trying to find the origins of anything is like you trying to count till infinity you would end nowhere it's like me asking you, where do numbers begin? Numbers begin from zero, right? Nowhere. Every number comes from zero. So you can, listen, sister, you cannot begin counting unless you begin at zero. You got to begin nowhere. Everything begins from nowhere. Nothing. Zero. Zero. Come on. It's, it's, it's easy to understand. You say you're not religious, so you definitely are logical. You can understand that. When you begin counting, people might tell you that one. People will tell you to start counting from one. But zero actually comes before one. Zero comes before Sorry. one. You got to start counting from zero. That's so you can't tell very, me you can't tell me where where did the first that's one come a from? Very elementary um, explanation for something that is super serious and complex. Actually, that's not Even true. That's why we have arithmetic. What I just explained to you is arithmetic, person. basic computation. Mm -hmm. Remember, mathematics and that's arithmetic is used for problem solving, right, sister? We use mathematics and arithmetic for problem solving. That's what we call the issues in mathematics. We call them problems. And you cannot solve no. problems without knowing basic yeah. 1 plus 1, 0 plus 1, 0 plus 2, basic arithmetic. You begin counting from 0, not from 1. 1 is Sir. not the first number. 0 is the f zero is the no is a number too. 0 Sir. is a number that comes before 1. So when you begin to count, you don't begin at 1 extremely complex matters photosynthesis how your body even don't takes worry about those complexities those complexities nerve. all begin at zero just like before you get to calculus you begin with arithmetic algebra so, pre-calculus trigonometry uh -huh. geometry and you work your way up you are trying to understand the complex things when so, you don't even understand the simple things mathematics is made up however it is not necessarily completely made up as much as it is measured. a reverse engineering of something that we Sir. observe mathematics is a reverse engineering yes human beings made Sir. it up by reverse engineering how the nature body, around us how your body absorbs and uses materials food sister it seems to me like you just want to keep going in circles right you're not no 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 no, no no i'm not going in circles I, okay you're, then, you're, then 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 listen listen you sister. The have of, check this out you sister. Hold, up, hold up hold up hold up so sister the subject of this conversation very, is we're talking about please. god right so if you're not gonna circle oh. around the subject of god then let's just let it be where it is you said you don't know no fine. i have I said no nowhere interest. fine I so let me go to your next guest okay i don't have too much time okay have a good night you too. She's missing the point. She's missing the point. I said go straight to your point, y'all. Go straight to your point. Please demonstrate an intelligence that is capable to articulate exactly what you mean and exactly what you want to say as soon as possible. What's your point? Right, you or me? Yes, sir. What's your point? I'm talking to you. First of all, First of all, I'd like to ask, like you, why are you shouting? Why are you so angry? I'm shouting because I can and you can't stop me. Now, what's your point? <laughs> oh, right. Okay, then. Um, Do you believe in evil? I believe in nothing. 
What's your next point? Well, you don't believe in anything. I'm pretty sure you heard me the first time. You don't need to repeat it. Do you need to repeat what I said for you to understand what I said? I don't believe in anything. Now, what's your next point? Now, now you need to understand the, the fact that you're overshadowing people who are trying to talk doesn't make mean that you're proving a fact, right? Yeah, sure. Because if I'm not I proving just... any fact, that's okay. Now, what's your next point? All right. The... Next guest. If I say come up and go straight to your point, go straight to your point. I raise my voice because this is how religious people's pastors like to talk. So if I bring the same religious energy, huh? Hello. pay attention. Hello. How are you? I'm doing all right, sister. Go straight to your point. What do you got for me? I want to tell you that God exists. I know that he God exists, exists in the back of your head. No problem. Now, what's your next point? God. Uh -uh. I'm not finished. I'm telling you God exists. Of course, you, you can tell me anything that you want to tell me, right? I'm also telling you that I'm your father. Uh, you're crazy. I just told you God exists. And I just told you that I'm your father. So who's right and who's wrong? You, not me. Okay, you, not me. Is that all you got? No, it's not all I got. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. God exists. And let if me tell you like something. I am your father. If you're my father, if you're my father, then who's your father? I am, I am, I am everybody's father. And you must you believe it by faith. You must you believe it by faith. You are mad. If you're my father, see, God exists. I know. You're my father. Just, who's your God father? exists just like I'm your father, right? We can agree. God exists no. as long as I'm your father. No. Anything else you have no. to say? No. No. If I just, if I just, I don't know. There's something wrong with you. God exists. He exists. I mean, something must be wrong with you for you saying that I'm not your father. No, something was wrong with you. You're mad. How can you say you're my father? Uh, you, you're your the father? one who's saying that there's a God. Now I'm saying to you that I'm your father. Why are you why are you disbelieving me? If 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 what you if what if what you say is true just because you say it, then what I'm saying should be true just because I say it. Hmm. Okay. So you say that there is a God and you expect me to believe you. Okay, fine. I'm not gonna argue with you that there is a God. Good for you. Now I'm telling you that I'm your father. So don't argue with me. Believe me too. Yes, I want to argue. I want uh -huh. to argue. So in fact, call me papa. Call me papa. I will not. Such disrespect. Hmm. Yeah. You're mad. <laughs> You're calling your father <laughs> mad. Is that how they raise you in Nigeria? Thank you for your time, okay? Let me go on to the next guest. Just move. See, eh? Just move. Go away. Let me just leave you alone. Go straight to your point, ladies and gentlemen. Go straight to your point. Nobody has still been able to prove that their God exists. Hello? Yes, hello, good night. Good night, ma'am. Please go straight to your point. Can you prove that your God exists? Yes, well, my point is my God exists and I'm a living testimony that my God is real and true and living because of many experiences I've gone through. So that means that if, if your God exists because right? of the experience that you go For through... For example, that, I'm giving you one example. No, no, no. Don't give me an example. It's okay. I, 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 I agree with you, okay? I agree with you. Of course. I, I, sister, Look wait, here. sister, wait. Me... Sister, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I agree with yes, you, okay? Yes, sorry. From my opinion, I'm not speaking of any other experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold I'm on, speaking hold on, about hold on, hold what on, I this personally... Sister. I agree with you. I agree with you. If you say to me that your God exists because of the experiences so that you've on. had... Sister, wait now. Don't explain. Let me finish what I'm saying. Yes. If you say to me that your God exists because of the experiences that you've had, I'm not arguing with you. All that tells me is that your God exists in the back of your head. And that's true for you. That's true for you. Good for you. That means your God only exists in the back of your head. We don't need to argue about that. We're not arguing about that. Don't tell me about your experiences. Yes, my your experiences are all coming from your head. Sister, God don't worry. Don't worry, worry sister. We can all agree that your God lives only in your head. You are, I think you are being manic and crazy. You know that? You're a crazy person. Sister, how am I crazy? I am acknowledging you your God. You are being in your head. believe in God, to be honest. 
Sister, I am agreeing that you got this in your head. Because you're not at me. No, don't explain because we already from Africa, you should be ashamed of yourself. That's the first state of civilization. That's where everything takes place on earth. You are a crazy person. Not believing in God, bro. The air we breathe, the elements around us. Sister, I don't believe in God because that's what that's the that was the deductions of the colonizers. That's the doctrine of the colonizer. How about what our four parents have taught us? No, our four parents it's did not, not believe in any come from the colonizer. Our, our four oh, parents did not believe in any gods. But listen, listen, sister, listen, sister, listen, sister, listen, sister, listen, sister. I have respect for the God that lives in the back of your head. That God exists to you. Good for you. That God is not real to me or to anybody else. But we know it's real for you. Empty, so good for you. Empty, Thank so you for your time, okay? <laughs> Okay, good night. Have a good night. You're you empty. Too. You're a demon. And, and spend time. I am you're a demon. A demon though. Night, night. Go. I can't talk to you. Of course, you're a demon. Okay, you're I'm, empty. Visit you're you. a demon. I'm going to visit you in your sleep there. Demon, you, you can't do sleep. that. I'm not afraid of you. I'll conquer you, demon. No, I'm I'll coming slay to you. In your you're sleep. a demon. I am coming I'm to telling you. I'm telling you, you're a demon. I'm coming Come to you in your sleep Come. with giant cucumber. I'll conquer you. I'll conquer you already. I am bringing giant cucumber with me. I am I'll conquer witches and warlocks, and I'll conquer you. You, you just see me to stay with me, brother. My God, will conquer you. I am bringing you. Come on, come on, I'll conquer you. Your I am God bringing will conquer, conquer you. You're a demon. You're a Your full God is demon. personal to you. It. Your God is personal I'm, to you. Leave it alone. Of course, you're a demon, bro. Your no, demon. Your God is personal okay. to you. Listen, your listen, God listen. is personal to you. I, you want to make you your God to ever people. It is crazy. Hold up, bro. Hold up, Hillary. Thank you for your compliments, right. sister. Okay? Thank you for your compliments. It's not every day that somebody gets to give me the title of demon. You know, I really appreciate it. Anybody else that You're wants not. to give me the title of demon, please feel free to, to give me more titles. You know? I, 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 I appreciate your honor, your respect. Thank you so much for acknowledging me as a demon. No problem. If your definition come from God based on religion, you've, you're wrong. Bro, Bro, it sounds to me like you're not coming to me in opposition. You come in agree agreement. Pretty much. I agree with ah, you. Bro, then, on most, then, bro, on I'm most so of the stuff. Bro, on most I, of the I stuff. Skip you, on bro. most of the stuff, I agree with you. But, you know, most now, of the bro, stuff, if, I agree. If, if, if me and you are not contending on the issue of God, bro, then no worries, bro. Like, I just salute you, man. Salute to you, bro. The only, th the only problem that greetings. I have is that your definition of God is based on religion. Bro, I when I say there's no God, bro, I really mean it in every context of the word. Like, we can throw that word away and we'll still live our lives just fine. So, okay, like, take, the, take that word God there. Eh? Take that word God and go and put it where the same place where there was that submarine. Go and put it there. Pretty much, but let's say if God did not have the attributes from religion and God Then just it wouldn't even the exist. Creator. Then God would be the same thing as Superman. If God did not no. have the attributes of religion... God will be fictional just like Superman. No, not not really. Yeah, bro. Honestly. Everything about God is an exaggerated uh, uh, concept of human qualities. So what religious people do is they just... Or what anyone really does is they just take human qualities and hyperbolize it. And, and, and exaggerate it. That's a form of poetry. It is a form of poetry. It's fictional. Okay, let's say there was a group of people that was taught that God that wasn't those things. God was not good or bad. He just was creator. Then that's not God. Because because the definition of God has been imprinted in your brain based on religion. Because religion are the proprietors of that word. That is not the word they're God not without religion. No, they're not the proprietors of that yes, word. Yes, they are. No, okay, so in the beginning of civilization in ancient Suma, God was totally, definition of God was totally different than what... No, but in the beginning of Suma, there was no gods over there. God is a German word that has only been around for less than about but I'm, I'm, 2,000 I'm years. I'm saying, so what did the, the ancient Sumers call their deities? They, they, they did not even, we don't even know if they were deities. How were not, how were not... How were they not deities? We don't really know because we were not in that society and we don't speak their language. We don't know their culture. We don't know their manners. We don't know their tradition. Yeah, but we so, know the So we, we don't, we we don't know need to the make right... assumptions. All we know is that the word God is a modern word. It's modern. It's modern in the last 2,000 years. And the Europeans and the Muslims used it as a weapon to propagate their religious beliefs and their yeah, traditions and their culture. Yeah, but that's only one 
part of human existence on how they saw God, right? It doesn't really matter. Like I, I'm saying to you that the word God can be thrown away. Even if there are other ideas, even if there are other ideas to explain the world. For example, what we know as the Greek gods, the Greeks did not really see them as gods. The Greeks had their own way of seeing it. The same way that we see our superheroes. In fact, the Greeks saw it more like superheroes. The same way we see Superman, Iron Man. That's how they, it was. It was their entertainment. It was listen. Every culture and every society has its own form of entertainment, bro. I get that. Yes, but th their so, perspective so on they God wrote, was different. They, down, they were not really writing history. They were writing their entertainment. They were writing the stuff that they used for, to entertain themselves. That we are so now you're saying that the, for you're history. saying that the you saying that this ancient Sumer was writing about fiction they, yes everything that they recorded was not history it was fiction how was it fiction because that what was their said? that was their entertainment that was their hollywood that's how they entertain themselves bro art if you go to africa bro all our artwork is a form of our entertainment we're not trying to record history we're trying to entertain ourselves and when we die our children come and change the stuff that we've made and it's just that's how it works, bro. I mean, it's simple, bro. Look at our Superman. Look at bro, bro. Look at our entire entertainment industry. Two thousand years from now, all I have to do is create a religion in the name of Superman, and people will worship. But Superman. if we listen, but if we base if, if we based it on what the the ancient Sumers predicted as who their gods were, it's totally different. Again, the from, ancient Sumers did not have gods, bro. God is a modern word and a modern idea. Well, I'm not. I'm just using that as a place. Well, don't word, use that word because the moment you use it, now you're going into the realm of fiction. That's what I'm really trying to teach oh, okay. religious people. So the the, the ancient Sumerians said the ancient Sumerians said, "From heaven to earth they came," right? The That's ancient Sumerians did them. not say from heaven to earth they came. They did not. Where did they say that the Anunnaki came from? They did not say anything about the Anunnaki is coming from anywhere. You are reading tablets. Bro, you no, are reading tablets. The, bro, the listen, bro. Elish, bro, look, the bro. Elish the, the says Enuma Elish. Bro, the Enuma Elish exactly. is not a fact. The Enuma Elish is I'm not, not a fact. I'm not saying that it's a fact. I'm not. Okay. That's not my claim. But I'm you not do not know it if fact. it is fiction or reality. You do not know if the Enuma Elish was recorded as fiction or reality. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. But that's I'm what saying I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that, bro. Fiction. You shouldn't even bring that up in this conversation because it's not relevant. It here. has a lot to do with it because that is the beginning of what people believed in what we call gods. No, it's not. No, you're not correct, bro. Because you can't even establish if it was written as fictional or not. You're just reading records from the past. You don't know if it was just, bro. You don't know if they just made it up to entertain themselves, bro. I, you don't I know. I understand what you're saying. You're saying like if it's thousands of years from now that we. And, and all civilization civilization died, and all of a sudden they only found a comic book of Superman. Right? That's what you're saying. Yes, sir. And, and, yes, sir. And right. then they begin to I try get, to I, they, they begin to try to they, they begin to try to understand our generation from the perspective of that comic book, bro. It just don't it wouldn't work, bro. Listen, bro. I really appreciate you, bro. Like I said, I don't I have too it. much time, bro. I want to deal with the with the people who really disagree with me hardcore. You and I were not really fighting over anything, okay? So nah, thank you for your time, bro. Much. I appreciate you're you, right. okay? Okay, thank If I'm not fighting with you, it's okay. I want the religious people to come and prove that their God exists. If you're not here to prove that your God exists, please take a back seat for a moment, okay? Take a back seat. Let them so-called believers come and prove that their God exists. I'm almost running out of time. make some good music. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like cut this. Yeah, this is the Yeah, yeah. So who, who wants What's up, man? Go straight to your point. Can you prove that your God exists? Man, ain't no God exists. Ah, oh, bro, about? if God doesn't exist, bro, then between me and you, my brother, greetings to you, man. Salute. Yeah. Let me bring up someone that believes opposite, okay? 
I I already know, man. Go ahead, go ahead. For sure, my brother. For sure, my brother. Anybody who thinks that there is a God is a person that is mentally disconnected Hello. from reality. Go ahead, bro. What's up? What's your point? Good morning. Good morning from my own end. Yes, sir. Can you prove that your God exists? <laughs> Baka, um, there is two things I want to say. One, that was the time I think like you. That's the truth. But um, There was no I time that you thought like me, brother. You don't even know how I think. <laughs> I've been listening to your conversation for a while. Listening now. to my conversation is not enough so, to know what I think. What how I think, bro, is not something that I come and put out here. It's okay. I'm, I want to ask you a question. What is supernatural? The supernatural is natural. supernatural is an exaggeration of what is natural. How do you mean by that? That means that someone takes something which is supposed to be natural. And then they add their imagination and act fictional characteristics to those things and make it supernatural. So supernatural is the same thing as fiction. English word, is that what your dictionary says supernatural is? Bro, that's all I'm telling you. Whether you like it or not, that's that's the practical application of supernatural. Anytime a human being opens their mouth to tell you about supernatural things, they are telling you about things that don't exist. Give me an example of something supernatural. All right. Then you believe there is what we call air, right? Give me an example of something supernatural, bro. I'm coming to that. You believe Don't worry, just go to that. Air. Go directly to that. I don't have too much time. You know that is air, bro? Brother, just go to something. Tell me, give me an example of something which is supernatural. Go straight to the point. Just answer the question. It's a question. You know I that asked you a air, question right? first. Why are you asking me a question when I ask you a question? Go straight to the point. Give me an example of something which is supernatural. That is the question I have asked you. Is, give okay, me. Fine, fine, fine. You want me to give you something which is supernatural. That is God. God is supernatural. Exactly. Like I said, your imagination. You cannot give me something which is supernatural you, you without using something that is my, fictional. You can't say it's my imagination. I've yes, given it you is, one now. now okay, prove that God that exists. Own... Prove, prove that God exists. We are still coming to that. We are having a No, we don't have to come here. to that. Right it should be obvious. Right. Just prove that God exists right here, right now. Prove it right you here, ask right me. now. I'll, I'll, let's, I'll, I'll, I'll calm I'll down. Calm you down. You ask me a question. If there is God... Right? Brother, I said prove your no. God exists right here, right now. Prove it. Do you know that I've answered one of your questions and you've not answered mine? Brother, prove so that God exists. If you can, I need to go to your next guest, my brother. I'm not playing linguistic gymnastics let's, with you. I asked the question, do you believe that it's air? Brother, well, how does that prove that there's a God? That We are talking about supernatural. God I don't believe in anything in this world. We're not talking as about you supernatural. Are now, as you are. Look, I don't no, believe in are, anything in this world. The, listen, look at the screen. That, the subject of today's conversation is, I said on the screen, prove your God exists and I will believe. But you're not if you are not here to, to prove that. that your God exists, then just give room for the next guest because you clearly are not educated that's in what you're trying to prove. That is, the, that is the reason why I'm here. That is the reason okay, why I'm here. Okay, then go ahead. I'm going to give you that. one minute to prove that your God exists. Go ahead. Do it. Now, since I was asking a question, the belief that is air. Yeah, that is air. An you answer your own question. Answer your own question. You... You can't, you can't see it. How do you explain that? You feel air, but you can't see it. Bro, you if you can't see air, you are a blind man. Only a blind man cannot see air. <laughs> you can't see air, but you feel okay, it. Okay, let me ask you a that question. Have you, have you ever entered inside a swimming now, pool? God, coming to God, if God exists. Brother, right? have, have you ever entered inside a swimming pool? Yeah, I do. Have you ever opened your eyes underwater? I do. Do you see the water? You see it. Don't you realize that air is a fluid just like water? If you're inside of air and you open your eyes inside of air, you air will see the air. Be like, air. Air cannot be like water. Bro, let me repeat you myself again. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, okay? Because I am detecting, I'm diagnosing that your problem is a lack of education. Right? Air is a fluid just like water. Air is a fluid just like water. You cannot see water, that. water is to the fish as air is to the human being. Do you understand? Water is to the fish as, as air is to a human being. So when a fish opens its eyes under water, it can see the water around it and it can see the objects in that water. When you open your eyes inside of air, you can see air. Air is transparent. That's what allows you to see the what objects that are inside the air. Is air? air is transparent. Is it is air? transparent. You, you want to know, so you know you what transparent is? 
bro, transparent means that it takes the shape and the color of whatever objects is around it. So the only reason why you can see this book is because the air around this book takes the shape and color of this book. But you cannot see this book without the distance between your eye and this book. The distance between your eye and this book, that is the air. That space is air. That's why when you look into outer space, outer space is dark. But our space in this realm is not dark. It's illuminated because it contains a fluid called air. Air is simply particles that are more spread apart. Meanwhile, water particles are... Bro, you did chemistry. You know the different types of bonding. I don't even know why I'm over you, here you explaining are, it to you. You are, say, you are saying this. Anybody who cannot see saying. air is a blind man. Only a blind man cannot see air. Because his eyes can be open, he will not see anything. Only feel it. Bro, listen to me, bro. I, okay. When, 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 I, when a blind man opens his eye, what does he see? When a blind man opens his eye, what does he see? When a blind man opens his eyes, what does he see? What he sees is objects. Objects are not air. Hold up, hold up. You are telling me that when a blind man opens his eye, he sees objects. When the eye is able to see, he will see Brother, objects. that's not what I asked you. That's not see. what I asked you. When a person who was born blind, blind opened their eyes, what do they see? Dark. Darkness. Okay. When a person whose eyes work and they see, when they open their eyes, what do they see? Objects. So, right now, do you see, do you see this book? Yeah, I see a book. Okay, but what is the head. distance between the, your eye and this book called? The distance, I don't get it. But, bro, this book is not in front of your face like this. It's not in your face. There's a distance between your eye and this book. What is that distance called? You want to tell me the distance is being called air? Brother, I'm asking you a simple question. The book is not inside your eye. The dis what is the distance between your eye, your eyeball, and this book called? What is it? You can't ask that question. What is the distance between my eyes to the book? I'm Brother, saying because you don't I, know how. I, yes, I can ask you that question. Yes, I can ask you the question. No, if you no, don't no, know, no. It doesn't make sense. The distance. Cannot, if, do you know how? If you cannot answer that question, my brother, it's because you are uneducated. Food. Tell me the truth right now. You don't want to answer because you know it will prove my point. What is the distance between your eye and the book? Just tell me. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You, brother, you know what is the, you. brother, what do you See? call the distance, the space? What do you call that area between... You know what a surface area is, right? There is a surface See, area Baka. between... There is, bro, Bakanga. listen carefully, bro. bro. Bro, we're not going to change the subject. You're going to answer my question, okay? I'm not going to no, no, let no, you no, deflect. We are going, we are definitely, definitely. We're going to talk about that. I am not going to let you deflect. I'm going to ask the question you, again. If you don't answer, I'm going to go into your next guess. I don't want to go in circles. You, do you not, Tell do you me what is the name What is the name of the surface area between your eyeball and the book? When you're making an argument, you make an argument to learn. You don't just make a blind argument. We are coming to that. You asked me to prove if God exists. And I'm coming... I'm really telling you I don't have time. So you guys don't want to learn. Nye, 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 nye. When you begin to argue with me like that, you're just showing me that your intelligence is not within the realm of reality. Bakanga. Your intelligence is too sleeping. You, you woke up from sleep last night, but your intelligence didn't get up. What's up, bro? Bakanga, how you doing, brother? I'm doing fantastic, brother. Do you come in agreement or disagreement? I wanna... No, I want to talk about that previous lady that called you demon. Um, ah, bro, there's one thing, that's one thing about that's a compliment. There's there's one thing about there's one thing about some people that call themselves Christians. Madam, if you are still listening, in your church there are a lot of demons in your church. And most of your pastors are also demons. So it's not because somebody believes on what he believes and you call the person demon. If you believe that Bakanga is a demon, is that how you're gonna set him free? If you want to set him don't free worry, as a bro. Christian, I'm not too worried about those people. Bro. You don't just it's come okay. up here and call somebody demon based on your religion, and you go to church. A lot of demons are inside the church, so don't come here. Don't because you go to church, you believe in Christ, and you say you're not demon. You can also be a demon, madam. We don't know no, if you're bro, a demon. No, bro, bro, listen. So don't we call know someone. It's only a demon that knows who is a demon. Bro, bro, bro. We don't get so angry Bakanga. at babies when babies do kuku gaga nye nye. We don't get angry at babies when babies cry. So to me, I'm not angry at her when she's. Speaking gibberish. There's, a, there's, there's, there's something mm. some Christians do sometimes I don't understand. You just, because somebody don't believe no, in your it's, God it's and you okay, just come and okay, saying a lot as, of things as, about as, it. It doesn't a, work like that. As, as a, this is, as not a what your, this is not what Jesus Christ taught you in the Bible. As, as someone who is doctored in religious indoctrination, I understand the symptoms of certain religious conditions. So I'm very gentle towards my patients. Okay, my bro. But thank you for your time, bro. I okay, appreciate bro, you. It seems like you came here to chastise that system. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, give it up, bro. Yeah.
Listen, this is a book. Okay? This is a book. The space between your eye and this book, the surface area, you might say it is space, yes, but what is inside that space is air. If you can see that space, it's because you can see that air. It's not void. The space between your eye and this book, that's air. That's air. It is transparent. It is see-through, see-through, transparent. You can see through it. Why does your brain not work? Just like when you go in water and you're swimming in water, you can see through the water. Chai, 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 my people. Where did you forsake your intelligence? There's a lot of people in line, so I'm just picking randomly at this point. Come on and go straight to your point, y'all. Yeah, I don't know anything, but I do know that your God lives in the back of your head. Even if I don't know anything, there's one thing I know in this world. Your God lives in the back of your head, and that God does not exist. I'm not here to insult you. I'm not here to demean your, your humanity. I'm just here to tell you that uncompromising truth that everybody in your life has been lying to you about it. You understand? They have been lying to you your entire life. Hello? Go straight to your point, sir. What you got for me? All I have to say, like, I don't have to argue, but I'm just saying that God does exist. In your imagination, he does exist. I agree. No, no, no. It's not in my imagination. Then prove that he exists outside of your imagination. Prove it. If God have a purpose in your life, then you are awake at this time like you are prove doing that, something prove, for you. prove that god exists stop stop playing linguistic gymnastics just prove it prove it it says there like what in the bible that i'm the god who created earth heaven and everyone that's just a story it's not proof now prove me give me proof you want the proof i'll give it to you why does that uh, God give us time to repent. God did not because give us many any time people to doesn't repent. know about Christ. Bro, God did not give us any time to repent. That's just your imagination. Now, give me proof. No, not imagination. That's a fact. No, that's, that's not a fact. That's, that's not a fact. No, no, no. He gave us time to repent. No, and God did not give us any time to repent. God. That's nonsense. That is bombastic nonsense. Many people hated God because they don't feel his presence and love. No. That's what happened. Hold on, hold on, no. hold on. Are you telling me that you can feel God's presence? Yes, I can feel him right now. You feel him with your skin or with your emotions? With my heart, I can feel it. Which heart? The it one on my your chest? Spirit. You can feel God with the heart no, no. on your chest? I can feel it with my thoughts in my mind. Hey, you can feel him with your thoughts on your mind. Isn't that not your imagination? No, it's not imagination. Yes, it's, bro, you say you can feel him with your thoughts and your mind. That's your imagination, son. Go and learn. No, Look no, at no, you. No. Look at you. You are proving my point. You can feel him with your thoughts and your mind because it's your imagination. You are making it up in your head. That's why I told you that the God that you believe in lives in your head. I'm not arguing with that God. That God that is in your head can stay there in your head. It's only real in your head. Good for you. No argument. But there is no God outside of your head, bro. No. It's okay. You have learned something today. You can fill him with your no, thoughts. No, it's still, uh, You say you can fill him with your thoughts on your mind? Thing. That is your imagination, son. No. That's my imagination. Okay, then try to feel God without your thoughts on your mind. Try to feel God. Can you feel God without your thoughts on your mind? I can feel him. Without your thoughts on your mind? Once you feel God's touch, then you'll know it. Bro, bro. <laughs> The only touch you're feeling is the massage that God is giving your imagination right now. He's massaging your imagination. He's he's emasculating no, no. your imagination. Hmm? Yeah. You are making it up. Listen, that's the equivalence of no, a no. madman. But you seem to me like no, you're a no, normal no, person. So you're only mad inside your imagination. Somewhere inside your imagination, you're no, a madman. No, no. No, it's not imagination. That's real. Don't worry. It's real in your head. 
<laughs> no, no, in your head, not my head. Oh, there's in no God head. in my head. The only God that's in my yeah, head. Yeah, because is you don't one. kill him. You just hate him. That's all. Why? Do, why do I need to hate something that doesn't exist? Look at you. He does exist. Why? Like I, said, he created human. I, like I, I said, he exists in your head, brother. You have no other point to make. Thank you for your time. No, no. He exists in everyone. There is no God. There never has been and there never would be. If you don't like it, cry about it. I want everybody to assemble behind me so we can have black on black reconciliation. But black on black reconciliation is not happening because of religious people. You preach forgiveness, but you don't want to forgive your fellow brothers and sisters. Can we have black and black reconciliation when some people are over here believing that they're going to die and go to heaven? Calling other people demons. What's going on, sister? I don't. You don't need a God that's your mother. That's just your imagination. Hello? Hello? Sha Shakira, what's up? Yes, good morning. Good morning. Please go straight to your point. Okay, first of all, before I start dealing with you, I want to understand, are you an atheist or do you believe in some other thing or you don't believe in anything? I'm no one. You don't believe in anything that means i said i'm no one okay so why do you think you woke up this morning like it's just you just woke up like you're just for no reason this yes i woke up for no reason for no reason yes okay well it's god it's not for no reason but it's god you're you're yeah, awake it's the god that lives morning. in your imagination good for you no, he is not in our imagination. There's so many things in the Bible that will show you. First of all, the world that we're living well, the right Bible now. The Bible is just a book of stories. It's not proof. It's not evidence. It's just another story. There's many books just like it. Yes. So I want to tell you. Yes. So I want to tell you that um, if you ask your grandfather about stories from the past, which if someone was telling you, you wouldn't believe, but because they experienced that, because your grandfather experienced that, that's why you believe. Like maybe past presidents or maybe that's some just, wars that we have. You're telling me are just in your head, my sister. Don't worry about it. It's just in your head. I'm not arguing they're with not, anything that's in your head. So can you listen? You said if we prove that he exists, you will believe. So whoever that joins this live, you're not letting them explain to you so that you can because disagree if you have at proof, them. You don't need to explain. Proof is not explanation. How am I going to have proof of something that's not that doesn't that doesn't live in this world? Because if listen, the only reason why you need to explain it is because it doesn't exist. If it existed, you don't need to explain it. You will simply make a statement that is true beyond questionable doubt. For example, okay, let me make but, you a statement. But, let me make you a statement that is true uh -huh. beyond questionable doubt. You can go and search for God anywhere in this world; you won't find it. Exactly, He doesn't live in this world. He's because in he heaven. lives in your imagination. He lives in the world of the back of your head. He doesn't live. He doesn't live in our imagination. Let me tell you. Yeah. Something. Oh yeah. He, he, oh okay. Okay. Tell me. How do you know it's a he? I want to give you an example. I no, want to before you give me an example. example, how do you know that it is a he? We just we just refer to him as a he. He's he is he, it's a spirit. Ah, it's a spirit. So you made it up with yes. your head. So, so your head, you use your head to make up a he, to give it a gender. And we, and we refer to him, if, we refer if, to if him it is as a spirit, a he, If it is a spirit, why did you give it a gender? We refer to him as a he because, first of why all, not a she? we just why, why not a she? Okay, let us, okay, let me a favor. Let's, first, let's begin to refer to him as a she. In the, first place, in the first place, he created Adam which is a male. So we... we, we no, he did not create Adam. More power there has, there has never been an Adam. Be there is no evidence that there was an Adam. If there is, show me his bones and skeletons. Which Adam? You made so, it up in your so head. I wanna tell, so I want to I wanna give you an example. I want to give you an example. 
you you have um let's say you are 20 years old or like let's say you are 23 years old which means you were you were born in 2000 or maybe 1999 and then like um you 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 have met you have met your grandmother before you before maybe she passed away or maybe she's still alive right now and then she's she's uh she's telling you about history from the past like let's say there was this president there was this what 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 that was that was, there was there was wars there were people killing each other Sister, you're taking history. too much time and you're not making a point you believe them because you have met them and they're telling you but right now all those things you see all those bibles you see it's a history it's the same thing when we die the bible people is not history the bible is not history the bible is fantasy we know the difference between fantasy people and are, history people are gonna people are gonna write stories about us and people won't believe them like the same thing like they're gonna write about this this life that we're talking right now that i was trying to prove to you that there is god and people won't believe that this happened because they don't have proof because Sister, all these things you are still not proving that God exists. Be. The Bible is not a history book. The Bible is a book of mythology. Do you do you know what a mythology is? Mm -hmm. A mythology is made up stories that is usually associated with tradition and culture of a specific group of people. The Bible is the mythologies of the Europeans. The Quran is the mythologies of the Arabs. You, as an African woman, you need to go and learn your own mythologies from your own people. Other than that, thank you for your time, okay? Okay. You're welcome. You still haven't proven that there's God. The only thing that you prove is that God lives in your head. But I'm, I'm sure, trust me, I, I really wish we had so much time. It's just that a lot of people want to Sister, if we had so much had time, so you much... get pregnant. If we had time, if we had that much time, you end up pregnant. You know that, right? You don't want to hang, you don't want to hang out with me too much. Oh yeah, you don't want to hang out around me too much. I will impregnate you. <laughs> I, I, that's what I'm telling you. Don't, 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 do not hang out around me too much. I will impregnate you. Hello. You, you go home with a big, with a big stomach. Hello. Good morning. Hello, good morning. What do you have for me? Yeah, um, it, it will be really nice when you pick up people, you listen to them, okay? Well, I'm listening to you. When it's just that I'm finish, listening to you quicker and better me. than you are listening to me. When they finish, then you can come in. You don't just talk on people. I you am pretty sure, opinion. my sister, I have made it you very clear that please go straight to your point. I don't have time. With that. Please go straight to your but point. when you come here and you want to hear from people, you have to give them audience. Okay. Sister, I am giving you audience. So Please go all, straight to your point. First of all, I just have two things to say. I'm not against whatever you believe in. It's entirely personal to you. There is nothing wrong with that. But for me, God do exist. And in you your are head. I agree with you. God you, exists in your head. You, now, what's your, your next point? Excuse me. Your existence is proof of that. No, that's okay? bullshit. It's only true in your excuse head. Excuse me. For it's you. not easy. Excuse me. Your existence alone is a proof of that. But I don't okay? exist. You do not I don't just, exist. You did not just happen. Yes, okay? I just happened though. I just I just, I just, just came happen. out of nowhere like this. Boom. Your existence is a proof of that. That you be No, you, my existence is proof that my father and my mother had sex. That's existence. the only thing that my existence is proof of. That God do exist. Sister, so if you believe my sister, my you. existence is proof that my father and my mother had sex. If you don't believe me, really? come me and you. We should do the holy really? dance, and you will see that we will give birth to your baby. Because your mother and father have <laughs> have had sex. Okay, so your mother. And that is the only thing sex. that my existence proves. My existence proves that that's your what happened. Mother st told me for nine months. Excuse me, for nine months, and nothing happened to you, and your mother gave birth. So that did not. I was in my to yes. I was in my mother's exist. stomach for nine months, Excuse and my mother's <laughs> stomach took care of me the same way my mother's stomach took care of of all her other body Excuse parts. Excuse. Excuse me, whether you like it or not, God do exist. I, I know that I God exists that. in the back of your, your head. Existence. Whether you like you it or not, my life. sister, that your God that exists exists in the back of your head. I don't even need to go further. You exist. You've been here. 
is the proof of that that God do exist. Yes, me being that here is, is proof that my father and my mother had sex. Good enough. I don't know what else you think. Sister, it sounds to me that you didn't go to school now. Sir, are you, you saying any, are, are you saying all these people having sex without kids? There is not sex. They are wasting sex. sperm Anybody and egg. Yes, sex, okay? people who are having sex without Anybody egg, without, without sex. people, people who are Anybody having sex without giving sex. babies, they are wasting sperm and egg. I mean, they are practicing. Anybody you know? can have sex. Anybody can have sex. Let me ask but you a question. Let me ask you a question, sister. Are you are you a virgin? Am I a virgin? I'm not a virgin. Did I come uh -huh. here to tell you I'm a so virgin? So you know exactly how... Sister, wait, you wait, wait. So topic. that means that you, you know... Hold up. Topic. Do you have children? Stop do you have children? You, you're you just going around the sex. Sister, do you have Stick children? Stick to the topic here, okay? Sister, do you have and children? And when people come up, give them all the answers. Sister, to I'm going to ask you Even one last time. If you don't answer, I'll just remove you. you. Do you have children? Yeah. Do you have children? Uh, yeah. Excuse me. I, of course I do. Why not? Are you married? Of course I am. Okay, good. So you know exactly how human beings come into the world. But you are sitting here with your perfectly functioning brain trying to convince us that it was an imaginary man that made your children to be born. Well, you know that Excuse it was you and your husband. That was, are you sister, saying you're sister, imaginary? Sister, you're sitting it was you and, and your you husband imaginary? that was doing the holy Excuse dance under the blanket. You, you, that is how your imaginary. children came to be. But you are here that pretending that you know so how, you mean you're claiming imaginary. that babies come from God. You, you're imaginary. You yourself, you're imaginary. That's what you're saying. Sister. Yeah. That's sister, what you're saying. Sister, you imagine we know how human you beings are it. made. That does not prove that excuse, there is a God. Anybody me, who thinks that human beings come from God is significantly Bible, uneducated. Book is air. If you Anybody, that, why sister, are you here arguing sister, about nothing? Sister, yes, it's not imaginary sister, that you believe a distance between your eyes and sister, the book is air. It's not imaginary in your head. Sister, really? Sister, let me ask you a question. So you're telling me that the distance, the space between your eye and this book is not air? You are saying... Sister, let me ask you a question. Sister, let me, I am asking you a question. If you don't want to answer, you can leave, okay? Are you saying to me that the space between your eye and this book is not air? It's also in your head because it's imaginary. Sister, I am asking you, I am asking you right now. Are you saying to me that the space between... I can see the space. It's not in my eye. I can see it. It's right here. You can see it too. You can see it too. You can see it too. You can see it. Are you blind? Excuse me, you are the one who is blind because you're okay, good. Married. Now, yeah, can you, you see the space you, between you your eye and this book? Yourself. Can you see it right now? Can you see it? You're just confusing yourself, and I'm so sorry. Like, whatever you believe in, I'm not against it, but please don't confuse people here. When I say I don't have time, these people just want to come and dance. Nye, 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 nye. Listen, it's the same old rhetoric. You cannot prove that your God exists, you will claim personal experiences. We are not arguing with your personal yeah, experiences. Cool. Look, your personal experiences is true for you. It's true in your head. We cannot see, we cannot hear, we cannot smell it, we cannot taste Good it. Morning. Good for you. Good morning. Go straight to your point, man. What you got? Good morning. Good morning. I can hear you, sir. Please go straight to your point. Good morning to you, too. Good morning. Okay, please uh, help just maybe two questions, please. Uh, number one, do you believe in hell? No. Do you believe in hell? No. Hello. Hello, I can hear you. No. Okay, and uh, do you believe, do you also believe in Antichrist? No. Yeah, I can hear you. Do you believe in Antichrist? I said no. All right, no problem. You can go ahead with the belief that there is no God, but I believe there is God. In Thank your you. head. Yes, I believe that that God lives in your head. Good for you. Thank you for your time, okay? I said you can go ahead with the belief. Me, I believe there is God. Thank you. That's all I want to hear from you. What's up, man? Go straight to your point. No games. Hello? 
Okay. Listen, you can be angry at me, okay? Yeah? There is no God. We can argue for yeah, 10,000 okay. years. There's still uh, no God. In fact, you guys I, are only here to argue I because there you, is no God. Can you hear me, bro? I can hear you, sir. Go straight to your point. Okay. Uh, first of all, can you lower your background, please? Because um, I would like us to have a, a, um, a bit of uh, um, healthy conversation. It's my um, point my that background, I want to My background is fine. Just speak louder. Can do that. I like the music. Yeah. Me too, me too. I like it. But it's because of the conversation, that's why. So, I have heard a lot. You you were saying a lot. Me, I'm not here as a Christian or any other group. But I believe there is a force behind everything. A force that nobody can see. Like, for example, you ask someone about the Adam that he said. So if you Google Adam, you will find out that Adam means a lot of things. Earth, red earth, or red soil, black soil, something like that. So for that argument, please, you have to change it because it's very weak. First of all, that's it. And secondly, I am just coming to give an example of why, our existence. Why, why, why do it's you sound that... so nervous? Why do you sound so nervous, bro? No, no, no. No, no, no. It's not nervous because... You're gasping, I, you're gasping as you speak. I'm just it seems from... like you're struggling. No, no. Because I'm I'm trying to sleep. That's Are you I'm... shy? Uh, sorry. Are you shy? Shy of what? That's how okay, I speak. Okay, then speak like a man. Okay, so if you are listening, if you are listening, because I told you that the Adam um, conversation that you had is very weak, you have to change it. Because Adam even doesn't mean anything. Adam means earth and soil and that's all. So is that what your, you Bible, is that what your Bible tells, tells you? It's not Bible. I told you that I'm not a Christian. I want to okay, tell good. you you're not I'm a Christian, from then, why a are you different arguing perspective. For? Because I believe there is a force. Which if you okay. call it a Mau or you call it a God or you call it somewhere, there is a force. Listen, listen People to me, call bro. Them hold, on, hold on, hold on. Check so this, this is it. Let, so let me that fix this. is it. Me, this bro, is what I've said. Bro, if you brother, are here to brother, listen to brother, me first, brother, relax, fine. Relax, I listen, okay? You listen and you talk. I don't have too much time, so please relax. Relax. Okay, you say you believe that there is a force, right? Yes. That force is your imagination. Thank you for your time, okay? Why? Why? Because it's you say I can call it whatever I want to. I'm telling you, you that it's your me. imagination. Good for you. Good for okay. you. Listen, okay, bro. you said there is a space. Bro, bro. You said brother, there is a space between brother, this and that. And brother, the, the book and brother, whatever. Good for you. Air. You and cannot your see force. air. But you My feel brother. air. You good feel for the you air. And you cannot see the air. I appreciate you, okay? No, you, maybe you maybe you just came here to argue. No, maybe you just came here to argue. Brother, brother. Yeah, because you are not. I'm not arguing not, with the force listening. that lives in your imagination, bro. It's okay. It's not no imagination. This is not the, imagination. Brother, you can walk. You believe brother, in friction, right? You believe in friction. Force in your imagination. So it's friction. No it's friction. Imagination. It's friction. Imagination. Brother. It's a friction. Imagination. Brother, that brother, space that you thank created. Thank you very much. That for space your time, that okay? you created. May the you created force the be space. With you. My brother. Did you create that space? You said a space, right? No, I am asking. I'm asking. May the force be with you. May the force. Yeah, be you with said you. A, a space. Oh no, may, may, you said may, a space. May the, may the force be with you, you believe your imagination. Friction. Thank you for your you time. You are talking okay, about brother. science. Let us end this friendly. How did you come on this earth? Let us end this friendly way. Thank you for your time. Okay. How did you come on this earth? Don't worry about that. Thank you for your time. Okay, I appreciate you. No, okay? no. Why? Why? I want to answer you. I'm showing you there is something. There is a force. Okay. I hope the force is enjoying its time in your head. <laughs> there is a force. Hey, sh there is a there is. A, I'm still. I've been looking for that force. So. Sam Bang. Sam Bang, I'll marry you. You know I don't discriminate now. Any beautiful women that want to marry me, come for. Bakanga is a, is a man of man. The Alpha and Omega. 
it is time for us Africans to begin to think critically, okay? Use our brain. The belief on God has not benefited us at all. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead. Can I tell you, what if I told you that there is something more than that? What if I told you that there is an afterlife after you die? And that place is called heaven. You know who made it? The same person, not person, spirit, the same God that created everything here. Jesus Christ. Have you heard about him? Yeah, I've heard about Jesus Christ. Yes. So you are seeking for evidence that he that he exists, right? Because I am I am certain and one hundred percent sure that there is none. Ah, okay. So you need evidence. Provide the evidence. I will give you evidence. I will give you evidence. And the Bible says that God made human from earth. He raised the human from earth. In our body, there is every single ingredient that is in dirt. In our brother, body, brother, where are you right now? Cells. Are you on the pyramid? Are you on the Great Pyramid of Egypt? Because it sounds to me like I can hear some pharaohs in the background. I hear a lot of pharaohs in the background. Can you go to somewhere where there is no Egyptians? Or I don't know. Are you in the Red Sea? Or maybe you are with Moses in the wilderness. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Is it better now? Yeah, it sounds to me like you were in the wilderness. So I was wondering maybe you are with you are with Abraham in the wilderness or something. You know. Yeah, it's good now. It's good now. Okay. In our body, the blood cells literally spell Yahweh. That is the name of the God. Hold on, hold on, what? Tr Trinity. Hold on, what? Holy Spirit. What? You say our blood cells spell what? No, not, not our blood cells. Uh... I rebuke you in the name of Donald Trump. I rebuke you in the name of Donald Trump. Thank you for that. <laughs> In the name of the Republicans, hey, may the holy power of Donald Trump strike you. Nah, 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 nah. Hello, good morning from. Hello, good morning from here. Go straight to your point. Um, back up, please. I want to let you know that there is actually a force. I don't believe in a god, but I know there is a force. Brother, that force is called your imagination. I'm not arguing with you. Good for you, okay? This is not my imagination. There is a force. Like nothing can happen without a cause. I know nothing can happen without you imagining it. That's why it's your imagination. It's not the, 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 imagine, the imagination is what brings it to reality. For example, yeah, yeah. Asking, bro, bro, listen, example, bro. Like, Before you even began to talk to me, you started imagining. Good for you. The imagination is what is what brings the reality. Uh -huh. So the imagination is, is the force. Good for you now. I'm not arguing with you. You want me to argue yeah, with your imagination? Saying, no, good for you, bro. No argument. Now, bro, listen. Bro, you have to listen. Just listen first. Listen, listen. What I'm saying now is natural. What I'm saying now is real. What I'm saying now is real. I know it's real in your head. It's real kidding. just because you said it. Can you can you can you it's, make it real no, without saying it? It's, it's, no, it's in real life. It's, can it's you real. make it real without in, saying it? Yes. Okay, then make it real without saying it. Stop talking. Let us see if it's real. I should stop talking if it's you. How can I express? Am I? How can stop I talking so we can see if it is real. I, I can I, I I need to talk, bro. There is whether you believe it or not. You need to talk to because talk. it's coming from your head, bro. No argument now. Thank you for your time, bro. I appreciate it's not you. It's coming from my head. This thing is real. This this force is real. There is a force. Go straight to your point, yo. I need this to be rapid, rapid, rapid. Some of you think, I'm not arguing with you. I don't care what you believe in your head. You believe in Jesus, you believe in Muhammad. Good for you. It's just in your head. I'm trying to tell you that it's just in your head. That's it. It's just in your head, y'all. It's nowhere else. It's only in your head. Good for you. All praise to Jesus that lives in the back of your head. Good for you. 
Not you live in the back of my hair, honey. Jesus lives hey, in the back of your head, the way you're talking. You're on here making money and talking shit. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did you, did you send me money? Nigga, you're making money on here. Hold up. Did, did you send me money? Because nobody's giving me money. Nigga, you be on here with all these live people here. You're making money. Yeah, these people are here to see what's in your head. <laughs> These people are here to investigate what's in your imagination. Sister, sister, this type of thing will draw the attention of those who are curious to see this God that people, religious people have been talking about. We are just curious to see this God that religious people have been talking about. And you know there is God. So there is God, just of course, sister, the sister, the sister, the sister I'm not arguing thinking. with you. There is God. Yes, there is God in the back of your head. Honey, you are Nigerian. You know there is God. Yeah, there is Nigerian God in your head. Nigerian people praise. Sister, Lot of sister, listen, I'm not going to tolerate you just going back and forth, okay? Just spinning. If you want to express your emotion, go and do it somewhere else. There is no God. Can you prove you to me that your God exists? Nobody getting what you're saying. You know that bullshit. Cut me off because that's what you do best. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Of course, because guess what? You haven't said <laughs> one single intelligent thing. Why would I entertain someone that's not intelligent? You no, know I'm saying the truth. You know there is God. You are African man, black man, and you talking there is no God. So she thinks that African people should believe in God. You see the slavery. You guys see how the slavery has spread. The cancer. You know there is God. Hello. So there is God. And African people know there is God. But Africa is still the brokest country in the world. Africans cannot even do simple politics. We still have the worst hygiene. Where was God when we were getting colonized? There is God. There is God. So the, God is so amazing that he keeps taking all the African resources and giving to the Europeans and the Arabs and the Chinese. Oh, wow. So African people believe in God so much, all the Africans want to come to America to live a better life. African men believe in God. The God of the Africans must be the most useless God. He must be the most useless God because the Europeans, look at them, they don't even believe in God like you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Please go straight to the point. So you don't believe in God? Why should I? And you are still breathing. Abby, because God is not real and God has nothing to do with me breathing now. <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> Are you for real? Oh. <laughs> uh, if you don't think I'm from real, you come to my bedroom. Let us see. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You should stay away from you me. You should believe that God is real. If you come close to me, I will impregnate you like the Holy Spirit, though. Don't play with me, oh. unless you want to be a virgin mother. <laughs> you will give birth to the next Messiah. <laughs> uh, I will give birth to Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you give birth to the holy, holy Bakanga. <laughs> you, you give birth to the Junior Bakanga, the Lord and Savior of all Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. You have anything else for me? No, I cannot convince you. Let me just. Let me no, just no, it's go. not that you can. You cannot convince me. Listen, whatever God you believe in is in the back of your head. Like I said, I'm not arguing with your God, though. I know that your God is real what? to you in your head. No problem. I fact, I know I know that you fact, believe in God. I just. You're just, you're just, you're just saying that onto. Sister, I don't believe in any God. Believing in you God believe, is a primitive you, way. You, let me, you, let me you, be serious with you, okay? Believing in God okay. makes it destroys human reasoning. That's why, that's why God is something for poor people, people who are desperate, people who are suffering. You notice, rich people don't need okay. God. When a rich person needs God, is when he has problem. You notice now, even human beings, human beings always need God only when they have problems. You understand? Okay, just, naturally, just naturally, whatever. naturally, people people don't need God when they don't have problems. That's why you don't pray when life is going good. You find yourself praying less when you have everything you need. 
You begin to pray when you begin to have issues. Because that is your yeah, hopelessness that manifesting itself. That's your anxiety manifesting itself. So if God don't exist, what about the gods? People that do ritualists and all those stuff. Professional scammers. And those are the original scammers. Listen, let me, let me give you proof that all those African people who do that stuff, they have no power. When the white man came, what power did they have? Did, did their power survive against gunpowder? Did gunpowder not come and prove to us that African spirituality has been a scam? The only real part of African spirituality is the science. If African spirituality had any real power, it would have stopped the colonizers. The colonizers brought gunpowder. Now they are bringing atomic bomb. You, you people are still there believing in Jesus. Jesus can rescue you against atomic bomb. When they went mm. to go and kill Gaddafi, where was Allah? Did Allah go and protect the, the Libyans? Did they not get Gaddafi? Did they not get Saddam Hussein? Were they not all people who believed in God? Where was the God of Osama bin Laden when, when Obama sent people to come and catch him? Eh? <laughs> God, God, God. Where was the God of T.B. Joshua when he was dying of, of, of HIV AIDS? Who? T.B. Joshua. He, he died on what? HIV AIDS now. <laughs> who told you that one? <laughs> so, so you don't who know an AIDS patient. So you don't know an AIDS patient when you see one. Hmm. Let me tell you the irony yeah. of T.B. Joshua's life. Those of you who don't know this guy called T.B. Joshua, he was an African scammer. A righteous scammer. A holy scammer. Born to scam. He was born to scam. And he used to go around claiming that he could heal people until he got sick himself. And he would go to crusades in other countries so he can go and secretly do medical operations. Until finally, so how did you know all this thing? Because I am a man with, with connections and knowledge now. Well, you got to you. Well, Who's that? Is that wow. Holy Joseph? Who's that talking in the background? Is that Holy Joseph? Or is that Holy no, Jacob? Nothing is a... Not to well specific tell you. Yeah, I believe in God. I Sister, believe in Him. You can keep believing. I know that. Good for you. That God that lives in your head. Continue to believe that one. No problem. Thank you for your yes, time. Yes, I'll, I'll believe Him. Uh -huh, you see, me and you are friends. We can be friends. In fact, we can even be boyfriend and girlfriend if you want to. <laughs> no, I can, love, I, can love me, I can love me a girlfriend to someone that don't believe in God. <laughs> yeah. It's because you haven't tasted this cucumber. <laughs> Let me cook up. You, 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 you will be cucumbalized. <laughs> Cucumbology. This is. I will. I will deliver you cucumbology, real Cameroonian style. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Please okay? stop talking. Stop, stop talking. Stop talking about Jesus like that. Tell like, Jesus to come here. Offend. If Jesus has beef with me, tell him to come here. I will beat him up. <laughs> Yeah, I don't do. <laughs> if Jesus, Jesus, let me tell you why Jesus doesn't want to come. Jesus doesn't want to come here because he's afraid of me. Oh my God. Listen, hmm. what, what human being do you know that has respect that somebody will be talking trash about them, then they will not come? I've been talking this trash for the last two years. Jesus doesn't want to come now. He's afraid. Because, well, you I know, because since Jesus I is a white man, he doesn't, want, he doesn't want the world to see a black man beating him up. Hello, good morning. Hello, God sent. I hope the God that is in yes. your imagination has sent you. What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. Jesus cannot do anything because he's a merciful God. He cannot do anything. He's not like you. He's not like you. You can say whatever you want to say. Jesus will not punish you because he's still giving you time for you to accept the truth. You are deceiving yourself. Oh, so when I accept the truth, then what will happen? What will happen when I accept the accept truth? Accept the truth. If you have a biro and paper, can you just mark today's date that you are going to cry for this thing that you are saying? Okay. You are going to look, cry. Look, mark today's look, date. Look, mark it. Look, I, want I have biro and wait. paper. I have Byron okay. paper and my paper has date and time. Okay. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. Man, you are not I'm not telling you to believe that God exists so. But I want to tell you something. Number one, 
I have, I know somebody that is sick, she felt sick and she was admitted in the hospital because she find it so difficult to breathe. And on that, on that aspect of it, she was under oxygen for like 40 minutes. Do you know how much they pay? Do you know how much she paid? Do you know how much she paid for that hair that she couldn't breathe? And she have to buy it in the hospital. Then another thing, when a woman is giving birth, have you ever go to the hospital and see that miracle that your eyes can never believe it after nine months and she have to push out a baby to come out of a, a private part? Then another thing, do you know where seasons and time belongs to? Your imagination. Do you ever imagine where? We, we, yes. Do, do you ever imagine where we have winter? We have the raining season. Sister, I don't imagine it. Just like you, you, like you just said. Do I ever imagine? I know that all those things you're saying are coming from your imagination because you only imagine. <laughs> that's, I don't. I don't. That's, 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 that's why you use the word imagine, right? Because you're always imagining. All I have, you, 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 you never, you never like, you never seems to believe. Okay, you you say you tell yourself that you know I I never wanted to come up, but I was I wanted to tell you that you are a fool because the Bible say you you are a fool. Sister, if anybody that did not sister, believe that God exists, that I'm person a is a fool. And sister, I'm going to tell you stop sister, that foolishness, sister. Oh God, sister, you are a fool. You are your breath. Yourself. Okay, okay. Thank but you for the compliments you now. People. Yes, I am a fool. Thank I you very much. People, I, people I appreciate it, sister. It sister, you. thank you very much. You that sister, the sister, thank you very much, okay? I am a fool. a fool. In fact, I'm a professional fool. I acknowledge it. Thank you very much. It makes me feel so happy that you have come out, taken your time today to give me such a beautiful title, the title of foolery, because I am telling you that your God only lives in the back of your head. Listen, you can say what you want to say. It does not change the fact that your God lives in the back of your head. You know what I'm saying? She said she didn't want to come up, but she came up just to tell me that I'm a fool. <laughs> that sounds like emotional damage. <laughs> hey, let me see. Let me, let, me put, let me put my girlfriend on the big screen now. Let me put my girlfriend on the big screen. My girlfriend. Who is your girl? Who is you your now? girlfriend? You. <laughs> Look at you. Oh. Look at the gap in your teeth, just like my own. Look at you. Oh yeah. Look at look at the gap Don't in your teeth, just me. like my own. <laughs> you know. You, oh you, Jesus. You, you, you know you know if you continue to smile, you might get pregnant now. So you might you might want to drop now. Hey. hey, drop me, drop me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, drop you. <laughs> Thank you for your time now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for also showing your face. <laughs> A lot of people don't have courage to do that. <laughs> Listen, I say to people, if you don't have gaps in your teeth, you don't have dental ventilation. <sighs> you know, you need to have gaps in your teeth so you can have dental ventilation. If not, you have to be opening your mouth all the time like a dog. <laughs> you know? If you have a gap in your teeth, you have dental ventilation. If you don't know about dental ventilation, go to an African doctor. They will tell you how to do it. You take a, a stick and you, you open the gap. It's funny because that's what I did to my teeth when I was growing up. We used to intentionally gap our teeth. We thought it was cool. Now my dentist is telling me I might have to get rid of them. I'm like, no, boy, I know they get rid of anything. What's going on? Hello. Hello. Bakanga the Beloved. It is Bakanga himself. Bakanga the Beloved. I love you so much. You really do? Yeah, good morning. Good morning to you. I just, Bakanga, I just feel you this morning. I did feel your vibes. You feel my vibes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> which, kind, which kind of vibe now? <laughs> you, don't, you don't make me laugh this morning. <laughs> uh, now, now only you are make laugh. 
<laughs> you don't put smile on my that is a and they laugh die <laughs> of course now because our religious brothers and sisters are very entertaining when they try to defend their god <laughs> the entertainment is just too much mm. i've been smiling since morning Especially those ones that what you want to get pregnant and not die for love. <laughs> <laughs> okay? I beg. No pregnant people, I beg. <laughs> That's not part of the calling, I beg. <laughs> That's not part of the calling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look, look. The only part in the Bible that I believe is the part that says be fruitful and multiply. <laughs> hey. That's the only part of the Bible I believe, you know. The okay. only part of the Bible Actually, I believe in, it said be fruitful and multiply. So, because, anybody who believes you know that, that part because, of the Bible, please come and join me. Let us fulfill God's word. That one is real. You know yes. that one. Yes. Yes. Anybody Don't who believes to be fruitful and multiply, please come and join me. Let us do the will of the Father who is in heaven. Let us be fruitful <laughs> and multiply. Especially if you are a beautiful that is woman, right. please come so, to me, oh. That is why some pastors are pregnant is the member's wife. <laughs> because that's wow. what the Bible says. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? They're, they're fulfilling God's work. Yes. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate yeah, good it. Good morning, Bakanga. I beg. Keep doing your good work, I beg. <laughs> hey, what's up, Bakanga? Jocelyn, you know, I skipped like 70 people in line to bring you up. Are you trying to get pregnant coming up here? Oh, I feel so special. Bakanga, stop shitting. Stop shitting. Just stop shitting. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to skip. Take it no, one today, after the today, other. Justin, I'm just being a fool today I'm, because I'm dealing with so many religious people. Right, of course. You know how it is. What's cooking? You know what you got? What, what I got? Yeah. Just stop pushing your religious beliefs on um, other people. It's It's not cool. Are you talking to me or are you talking to them? No, just people in general. You see, the funny thing is, if you look, if you notice my platform, I don't really make it to where anybody pushes their belief. I just make it to where we allow our beliefs to question each other, right? So I'm asking questions. For example, to this subject, I said, prove that your God exists and I will believe. So my argument is based on nobody yeah. can really prove that their God exists. So we should right. all be okay with what everybody else believes. The problem is that some people want to define other people as evil or bad because they don't share their religious beliefs. And that becomes a problem. Yeah. yeah. yeah that I becomes agree. a problem. Bakanga, do you and know that? Bakanga, do you know that your last statement you said, that one really got me. When you were talking with your other lady that was uh, saying that you are a fool, you, to you said something, I don't know what I if she, you said uh, some people only remember God when they are in problem. That thing is true, Bakanga. Yes, yes, naturally. Naturally, you, you don't even need to pray you unless you have you a problem. Not even think. You will not even think. I remember when I was in Nigeria, I pray all the time. But since I came to the UK, my brother, I pray less. Because it's like everything is just, uh, I don't know, what is arranged, how it should be. So I don't even remember sometimes. I don't know. It's, it's not other thing. What you are saying is right. These people that are calling God, 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 let them have those blessings they are talking about. You will not pray again. I'm going to put my camera on. Even I don't sickness, like, well, then I sickness like brought them close to face. God. If they are well, if they are healthy, they, they, they cannot even remember God. They are all hypocrites. Don't have mind them. Oh. Who are you talking my to, bad, Jocelyn? Nah, Is that your bad, boyfriend bad. or your husband? No, well? yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I want to. I'm going to our piano. People remember God when they need something. Because they want to get. But if they get, they don't remember God. So, I me, mean, that God doesn't exist. How can you remember God when you are sick? You will see them being religious because they have problems. Minister Eze, I'm going to bring Minister Eze up so I can bamboozle him real quick. All right. Go straight to your point, Minister Eze. I don't have time. You have about less. You have less than one minute. Go ahead. Prove to me that your God exists. What? I should prove to you. Yes, prove to me that your God exists. Wow. How? If you don't know how, then that's proof that your God doesn't exist. Thank you for your time, okay? 
I thought he came out to say something. He clearly has nothing to say. You said God does not exist. That's what I said. If you t if you say that God exists, give us proof. I should give you a proof. The, the air you preach, who gave it to you? It wasn't your father that gave oh it to my. me. Oh my God. Yeah? It wasn't your father who gave the air to me. Nobody gives it to me. Then who gave it to you? I'm, I'm just asking. Nobody. Nobody. You just you just own it. I just take it now. In fact, if, oh, there yeah. was, if there was not enough air in the room for me and you, I would take your own. Minister is a proof that proof that it is God that gives us the hair. How did God give us the hair? Proof to yours, Minister is it? You, you, you that is talking. You, uh, you that is talking now. You said when you were in Nigeria, you were pray, praying, and you went to UK, stop praying. Otter, otter, they fight you. You, you, you that is there. Which type of otter is fighting me? What about the other that was fighting me in Nigeria? Maris, it's okay, it's okay. Maris, uh, uh, is, Minister Eze, you have nothing relevant to say in this point, so thank you for your time, okay? I appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, yes. You, you just let me tell you. Let me tell you something. I don't have time. I don't have time. What's up, Justin? Yeah, so that's how they're this, 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 this is how, this how, in this how I run my show on yeah. days like this. There's a lot of people right. in the house, so there's a lot of guests. I have about more than 50 people in line right Hello, now. Hello, so everyone. Sister talk... Maui. Hey, what's up? Hello, good morning. Okay. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, Bakanga. Hi. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. It's been a very fun time here this morning, frying all those people. I wonder why Minister Eze was just tongue-tied all of a sudden. Because he was Bakanga life, mentally, spiritually, and physically. <laughs> Habba, habba. Meanwhile, Bakanga, thank you for bringing me up on your live. This is a privilege, honestly. Yes, whenever Once. I find myself here, yeah, I think I count it a privilege. <laughs> the truth is, the truth still remains. There has never been a time I listened to you without increasing or improving on the wealth of what I thought I already knew. Same you keep busting brains, honestly, honestly. There was one woman that came on your life one day. It was in the night. I was already going to sleep. But what you told this woman has never left my subconscious mind. Very, very impactful. Please keep it up. I know that the idea which time has finally arrived. Nothing can happen to it. Even the gates of hell that doesn't exist cannot stop this. <laughs> no, this the armies of heaven cannot prevail against Bakanga. <laughs> like I said, At anybody all. that can bring God here should bring God, and I would defeat God once and for all. But they cannot because that God doesn't exist. At all. Do you know that in their and mind? The irony is that, that they keep they keep pointing at you as the fool. Meanwhile, they have refused to see how foolish they were in their line of thoughts, in the programming they have been stuffed with, in the brainwashing and the hypnosis. It's just so, I don't know, I don't know. But then I just look at them and that They are aware, some of them, when they come to this life, they are aware, they knew, they are waking, but they will not accept it here. When they go back, they will start thinking about what Bakanga said. Of course. Of course. Do, you know than, do you know why there was nearly like a thousand people in here for yeah. more than two hours? Bakanga. What's yes, up? I, when I came, oh, it was one thousand. Yes, they are, draw, they are draw, drawing from his well. Bakanga, people are coming here to draw from your well. What's up, Jocelyn? Oh, yeah. It looks like a dual dab's here. I know he's here, but I don't have to acknowledge him. It's not as if That's he's that special. Dual, dual dab is now you. <laughs> Dude, block me. It's okay. As you can see, there's unless unless Dude is a lady and he wants to come into the room because there's mostly the only ladies here. So, Bakanga, Bakanga, how many wives did you say you want to marry? I want to have more wives than Solomon. Them. Because why? If I, if I can accomplish <laughs> that, then maybe I can prove that Solomon was not a fictional character. <laughs> So, I want, want, want 10,000 10, 10, wives and 500 concubines. Can you can you service them all? <laughs> By the power of the ancestors. <laughs> By the divine power of the ancestors. Did the Bible mention how many children Solomon had? 
Did the Bible mention this number of children? Uncountable children. Well, Some of you true. might be his descendants. Wow. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's fiction. That's fiction. Doesn't it? Solomon had black children. You should have black children, right? Oh. Yes, now it. he was with Queen Sheba, Queen of Sheba. He was with Sheba of Ethiopia. So, why not? Ooh. I appreciate you guys, ladies. Uh, 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 Mary yeah, thank and, you so, so and, much. and Onye. Onye, Onye. Um, Justin, you got anything to say? Yeah. Say something. Like I said, like I said you know, just uh, respect people. Respect people's beliefs. That's all. Now, like, well, you know, you know, when you say that, you're punishing me as well, right? Because I don't respect people's beliefs. No, no, like, like people shouldn't force um, their religion on people. Like, they should not. Like, if you're, if you're like atheist, oh, Duldab was good. You said he blocked you, so I brought him up so you guys can make peace. My, uh, my mom did. Yeah. Um, all right. Because you guys were having an issue with each other. What what's going on, dude? I don't have time to give you an ass whooping. So this is not. No, I don't, have, I don't have time. I don't have time. You can't give me an ass whooping. I don't have time. I gotta. Bro, you know I whoop your ass every time. Ideologically, physically, well, no, emotionally, it's just, it's just spiritually. Saying, it's just you keep saying that people have to prove there's a god, but you can't prove that there isn't one. Because the burden of proof is on those who claim the positive statement. Simple as that. Well, well, you're you're we're all true. That's very true. Yes, but you're also claiming. That there's no God in a positive way, right? Because uh, you're not, uh, in, not in a in a counterproductive way. In a, uh, bro, in a counter positive way, right? Which is really in a negative way. I'm making a negative statement. Right, right. You can't prove a negative either, right? Because so, the burden of proof is on the positive. Right, right. Well, they can tell you how they believe that God exists, right? And, and I don't argue the, with that. I think that however right. God exists to you, that's just in your imagination, in the back of your head. But outside of well, your head, there is no God. Well, everything is in our imagination because the world that we live in, we only see it through yeah. our brains, right? Well, we shit, look at that. We're going to agree on that. Huh? I said, God damn, look at that. We agree on that. Yeah, we, we have to agree on that. So God Exactly. So the world. Muslim's God is in the in back of his head. Your Christian God is in the back of your head. The, the African's God is in the back of his head. Right. We, when, we don't I, need to I fight. Out, we don't need to argue because gods are just imaginary entities in people's heads. We don't need to fight. Right, but you're saying, you're putting it as in they're doing something wrong by believing in that, and they're not doing anything wrong by believing in that. What I'm saying that they're you, doing you wrong by believing in that is when they impose that. that, unless someone believes in their God, they begin to give people labels. For example, well, only the, right, do you know how many people, people have come up here and called me a demon? <laughs> no, I don't, think you're, I don't think you're a demon at all. I just think... No, you, you, not you, but do you know how many people have come up here... That's the problem because I'm actually preaching black on black reconciliation. I want African Americans, African Caribbeans, African Africans, African Chinese, African Europeans. I want us to kind of like conglomerate and and forgive each other, right? But we can't do that because our belief systems are too polarized. So where do we find the middle ground? The middle ground is to return to how things used to be in Africa, quite possibly a, a form of pantheism where if Allah is Allah to the Muslim, then Jesus is Jesus to the Christian. The Muslim and the Christian don't have to fight. But they can still have a relationship that is based on their humanity and their need to survive. That's what I'm really asking for. Well, if you put it that way, I can't, I can't disagree. I, I mean, like, there's some points I disagree with. Like, Most I of the time, that, you disagree with me just because you want to. Well, no, Not no, because no. I'm wrong. I think Africans are Africans. I don't think that. I think our closest relatives outside of Africa are maybe the what the city in India, uh, the the uh, people in America. Uh, the people in the Caribbean, surely, and that that's that's about it. But they're just close relatives. They're not they're not technically us. So I don't see why we have to be. They, whether whether they're not tech. Okay, let me tell you why they're technically us. Because if a black African American ends up in the street of America with a police officer, and a black African ends up with a police officer, he doesn't see the distinction. But a police officer doesn't get to dictate to me who I am and what I am. Yes, but the a system the system in which that police officer operates will do so. No, the police officer is only there to do a job. He's not there to tell me who I am. Like the but police he's gonna, officer listen, care listen, dude, that. you pull out with a beard like that, you pull out with a beard like that, with some dreads, with some saggy pants, and you're just another black man. Right, but if I'm obeying the law, then I have no issues, right? Well, obeying, obeying the law to what capacity? Like I'm George Floyd? Like George Floyd? Well, if he would have, 
Well, we don't. I don't think we want to get get into that conversation. No, let's get into that. Let's get into that in a brief moment because right. I don't think that car, whatever he... wrong George Floyd did justified the treatment he got. Well, if he had just gotten the car with like he was asked the first but time, but he didn't. It he didn't. To that. But he didn't. He didn't get in the car. Yeah. So what happened after that? So that justifies right. what that police but, officer but did. Just, but if he just so like if I don't put my hand on fire, my hand will never be burned, right? Yeah, but the police is not a fire. The police is enforcement. No, yeah. The not police, punishment. The police, the police is the not police there to punish. Force. The police is there to enforce. No, no, no. The police is the force. And force, force is dangerous, right? Enforce, like, yes. To in, enforce like what? To wind. enforce the law, like right? Wind is a, huh? And they're not allowed to use deadly force unless necessary. There was no need for deadly force in the in the George Floyd's time. Right. No, he was uh, using uh, a restraint, right? He was using a restraint and... And... Yes, he bro, was but the man was the saying he, he couldn't breathe, bro. He was saying he right, couldn't no, breathe. I, right, he was wrong. He was wrong in the way he used the restraint. He was definitely wrong. And when people were telling him to stop, he didn't stop. Right, so that's why he was punished. But if Mr. Floyd would have just done what he was asked to do in the first place, it would have never have gotten there. If the police officer would have just done his job in a professional way, no matter what Judge Floyd did, did he wouldn't have died. It, but he just did it improperly. And that's right, my point. Point. and that's my point, and that's my point, and that's my point, bro. Right. So when a doctor, when a he doctor would never have put his knee like that on the neck of a white man. But yeah. when a doctor malpractices, right? Do you get to send a doctor to jail? Of course. Doctors don't go to jail for malpractice. They just yeah, they sure do when they're if, caught. If it's egregious, they'll lose their license. They have right? insurance and lawyers that fend for them. They buy yeah, some doctors stuff. do, but not all doctors do. Often, yeah. oftentimes, most doctors have their own insurance, their own private insurance for doctors. Right. Specifically for doctors. Right. Malpractice um, insurance. So, no, yeah, so they do have their lawyers, and it's very hard to send them to jail. First of all, um, second of all, in the in the situation you're talking about with um, Floyd or whatever, that was that was wrong on both parts. I'm gonna. Go ahead and take both parts of this like i think that the police went too far but i also think um yes i agree with you and i think that hey like there is a um there is a duty to comply however i think that the police also went too far so it's kind of both ways it's a it's a mutual it's a mutual but yeah, when, you're, when, you're when, when all me. is said and done just Troy did not receive professional training the police officer did. And there's a reason why we give police officers professional training. Why we don't just take people off the street and put them into law enforcement. They have a higher standard by which to abide. Now we understand the difficulty of their job. All I'm saying is that when you have so many police officers and one unarmed man, there was no need for force. I mean, like, just Floyd would not have overpowered them at all. Even if he wanted to, he couldn't have. The actions... Right, okay, I'm okay, take for example, take for example those black cops... Those black cops that beat that black man on the highway to death. Well, they weren't justified to do that. So it's, it's not even a matter of race. No, but if he would have gotten out of the car when they told him to get out of the car, that wouldn't have happened. That's what But I'm he saying. didn't think he was committing I'm, any crime. But I will never give an officer, right, the right to use force against me because I will always do what they tell me to do when they tell me to do it. But so there has been times, way. bro, but listen, by law, by law, you're not supposed to do everything they tell you if you're not breaking the law. Well, you I'm have right. Take that chance, bro. But you have rights. But you have right, rights. But I'm not gonna take that chance because, to me, complying with him, even if he's wrong, is less harmful than having him put hands and feet on me. If bro, then, 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 guess what, me, bro? Then you are just giving them the right to abuse the law whenever they feel like it. Because at some point, someone needs to stand up to someone that's abusing their power. Right. I'll stand up to him when I go to his department and file a complaint. No, right, he has a body camera, right? If he gives you a command, right. ask him, officer, what crime did I commit? But it's it's it's. But the thing is, is that it's good to come to have compliance. Like, uh, just do as they say, and then once once everything is said and done, you know they have a camera, so you know they review the cameras, right? Like what, once you're locked up and all that, like the judge and the lawyer, they view the camera. They have to film at all times. Not every single so, person that gets yeah. pulled has the money to afford a lawyer. Sometimes your only chance to do something is to stand your ground right there and in that moment. Don't yeah, but getting hands to, and feet on you, how does that help your, how does that you help you? You don't have Listen, to get a lawyer. This let me tell you something about George Floyd, okay? George Floyd might have died, 
But I promise you that he prevented the death of many other black men. That is the type of sacrifice that is necessary for us, any type of freedom. Think about even America, right? The founding fathers were a bunch of white folks. But thanks to their sacrifice, all those who died, the white folks today can be who they are. The civil rights movement, the Native Americans. Every time a group of people have been singled out within a system, not individually now, not individually, not individually at all, not individually, but within a system, there's going to be sacrifices that involve some people losing their lives. Why? Because they stood their ground. For example, look at the story of ML Tilt. What did the story of ML Tilt teach us? That if a white woman says that a black man did so, so, and so, white men were justified to be angry and to take justice into their own hand. And even the justice system vindicated those white men. What did we learn from that? MLT's death saved many other black men because guess what? That behavior had been going under the table for a long time, but his death allowed it to come to the national stage. Though the solution wasn't immediate, but eventually now, you can't just accuse a man and get away with it. I mean, I mean, Johnny Depp proved to us that Amber Heard is not going to get away with it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree with you, but I, I think that's any woman, right? Any woman that accuses any man of anything, especially, you know, a man that looks like us, they're probably going to, you know, give her more deference. I mean, that that's true. But we we as men still understand that. So we have to operate with that understanding. I understand that a white tee police officer, right, will be willing to put hands and feet on me if I if I um if I get out of line with him, so therefore I'm not gonna get out of line because I know he's gonna put hands and feet on on me, and then it's up to me to prove that he did it wrong, right? So now I have to go get a lawyer, I have to go get the media, I have to make a spectacle of my life in order to prove that this man did wrong. Wh why is that worth more than just giving him my license of registration, getting out of the car if he says to get out of the car, and just you know leaving it there? Why would I sacrifice the 10 minute inconvenience for years and years of disruption in my life? That's what I don't understand. Logically, logically what you're saying, bro, is logical from an individual perspective. It's very logical. What I am saying is that those who choose not to comply when they are, when they are in a state where they believe that they have done no wrong, they are not wrong either because the police officer has a responsibility to establish to the person he has put over why he has pulled them over. You can't just pull me over. Like, the police is not allowed to just pull up random people who have not committed any crime. That's against the law. Bakanga. Bakanga. Yeah. Here's, here's the issue, is, is that a police officer is not a judge. Facts. They are enforcing the law, correct? Facts. So, so if no law has been broken, what are they enforcing? Right, well, whatever, whatever it is. But the thing is, is you go later to a judge prove that you were right or wrong if you were not in the wrong then you go to a judge later at a later point even though you did get wronged you go to a judge later and i agree you with you i agree with you and do dab on that i do what i'm yes. saying is that it doesn't always work bro in fact most of the time you go to a judge it won't even work it won't work that, that's a possibility, but but the thing is, is like, do you want to take that chance? That's the question. Yes, I would take that chance, depending on the circumstances. Listen, even I mean, if a black I, man was running away from the cops, the cop is not justified to shoot him. As for for if, if I violate a traffic law and I run away from the police, that is not worth the police shooting me. Police right, officers should be trained. But you understand the police see unalive bodies every day, right? They see traumatic things every day. They I get do. cussed out every day. Yes. So why, why would that's you why, wanna... That's why I couldn't be a cop, man. You couldn't pay me enough to be a cop. I'll probably be the guy me, that me shoots neither. everybody. I promise you that. I'll, <laughs> I'll be neither. good I was, just finding, I was just watching this video of the of a, of the two police officers that found a, um, a human uh, head in a bucket, right? Because the, the, his, his girlfriend, you know, unalived him and everything and put his head in the bucket. And the police, came, you know, were called to the house and saw that. I mean, they saw that with their own eyes. And I would never want to see anything like that. Right. So we, we always forget that these guys are guys who are traumatized on a daily basis. 
So why would you want to make their job harder for them? And I understand that some of them, you know, skirt the law, um, but I just don't think it's worth taking, unless you want a payday. I mean, if you want a payday and you want to take some hands and feet, then go ahead and do that. But for me, yeah, chances it's not worth you might die in that hey, process. First of, all, <laughs> first of all, but Conga, can you can you turn down your music just a tiny bit and um, just a tiny bit? And um, second of all. Uh, I want to say if you if you really want to hear some crazy stories, I can't even hear myself. Like your music is so loud, but I'm so sorry. Hold up, guys! You guys keep asking me who's talking, and it's Gabriel Santamo. Oh, with the makeup, with the makeup filter, got it. Um, I like it. Yeah, so that's that's who's talking. He he is half white and uh, Native American. Because you guys keep asking, so yeah. Look, let me tell you something with the music. The music is very soothing when I'm dealing with religious people. It throws them off because they come in here feeling like they're in church. But uh, look, guys, it, it you guys, you guys like... caught me at the end of the show. Do that. I appreciate the fact that there was no hostility between us in this specific show. Maybe we can bring the hostility next time. Yeah, let's just make it this one time. Let's not yeah. make it a... No, nah, bro, uh, bro. Uh, no, yeah. bro. Yeah, I, don't think, I don't think you're completely void of common sense, bro. So I think I think, I think think that we, we're passionate in the way we do our things. That's fine. We're not enemies. Um, like I said, bro, I was dealing with religion here for the last hour. Or the last, what? How, how long have I been recording? Three hours. So yeah. it's getting ready. For, I need to be at work in the next one hour and ten minutes. So, so I, got, I got one last thing uh, to say. We, we, we got to do one on uh, on the uh, benefits of colonization. You bro, I saw you running there. the show with that, Wait. bro. And bro, you don't want to. God damn. Friday this guy. and Saturday, I'm gonna have um three three live um points um debate night, and it's gonna be um was colonization good or bad, and uh, polygamous relationships. We're gonna leave off, you know, where we left off. Um, is it good or bad? Do people want it? And uh, is gatekeeping culture good or bad? So Gate, gatekeeper right culture. Yeah, gatekeeping culture. There you go, like, y'all. If you guys bad? want to participate, go and follow Jocelyn on those. Yeah. And do that with a maniac that was born in Nigeria that lives in America. He's crazy. Just so you know that, and I'm not afraid to say that. So go and follow. Do that if you, want, if you want the craziness. It doesn't matter where he was born. I'm not gonna like don't discriminate like that. Like, it doesn't oh, matter. Oh no, no. Listen, I'm, if it's do that, I'm discriminating. Like I don't, I don't, I don't pull back any punches that I could throw at do that. Like I said, he was born in Nigeria. He lives in America okay. now, and he's crazy, absolutely he crazy. And if you like that type of craziness, go and follow him. He thinks colonization was good. I think there were some benefits to it. I, I, I didn't say it was good. I just said there were some benefits. No. Listen, go and follow do that if you like that type of craziness, global. especially those of you Christians. You're going to like his content. Go over there. <laughs> I those think it's a low blow to to call out someone's uh, where they were born or anything like that. I think Yo, that was uh, a little bit of a low what's, blow. What's your name again, brother? So I, I, I don't keep getting it wrong. Uh, Gabriel. Yo, Gabriel. This is not... This It's just that you haven't seen me and do that before. But... Uh, it's I not have. a low blow. It's a quite open blow. That's why I'm sitting right in front of him. In fact, if but I could give a fans, blow straight to the face, I wouldn't miss at all. Every single time you guys argued. Your fans don't like me at all. The comments are leaving for me. My God. It's okay. <laughs> they are rebuking you in the name of Akanga. That's okay. I've been here. I've been here in the room We're with good. Jocelyn listening to every single argument you guys have had. So. All right. Facts. Oh, Bakanga is out. <laughs> I have known that Justin has a boyfriend from day one. Get out of here, y'all. Right? <laughs> People are funny in the comments. Yo, you got some ruthless followers up in here. <laughs> they have no filter. Yeah, my followers don't have filters because these are free human beings. They're free. They're not That's bound good. by religion or bound by politics or bound by anything. These are the type of people that I'm rolling with. That's good. A bunch That's of lions good. and lionesses. So um, you're gonna you're gonna continue with your live, right? No, I'm about to drop altogether. That's why oh. I just kind of like ended it this way. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. thank you so much. Hey, do that. Thank you for having me up. No problem, bro. Um, Jocelyn, shout out to you. Shout out to Jason. Gabriel. I see thank you guys you. around. 
Oh, I, feel, I was gonna end the show like I, 30 minutes ago, but I was like, why not bring some friends up? No problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. So thank, thank you guys, guys so much. Thank you for letting me. And out. September 16th. Remember that day. Anyone that hears it and understands it, I'm not gonna push it too hard this year. I'm I really I want it to be organic, like I said. But on September 16th, those who can come to California, come and become part of my team. Because I'm taking this into the real life. And then we'll see where it goes from there and then what we're going to do next year. But it's black on black reconciliation. Okay? We need to learn how to forgive each other despite our differences. Ultimately, okay. we need to box and then reconcile. So if we, don't, if, we don't, if we don't box, how could we ever have an opportunity to reconcile? Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for pulling up. If you're not following me on YouTube, go and follow me on YouTube. I will be downloading this live on YouTube. Or on Facebook. Follow me on Facebook. Hi, everyone. All right? Take care. Take care, everybody. Bye. Someone says Bakanga, the black mamba. <laughs> of course. Remember, y'all, there is no God. There never has been, there never would be. If you don't like it, you can cry about it. Okay? I am out of here. Stay blessed, stay strong, everyone. And keep your wives away from me. <laughs>